Come on, just shut the fuck up and go. Whenever, just I'll edit it. Fucking. <laughs> Or, or I won't. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? Yeah, I don't know. Two extra anymore. minutes. It's okay, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, fans. Welcome to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Boys Play D&D Again. I'm your, always your host, Nick. Um, back here at Rebels Gaming with uh, our awesome boss, um, Dan, that lets us play on our off days when we're closed. So we thank him very, very much. Um, but right now, uh, the guys are in the inn currently talking to each other. It's about four or five o'clock. Um, a lot of things happened. Uh, they got Zen uh, back up and running, basically. He's not sick anymore. Um, Alistair found out a few things with Safi, um, but maybe a little bit more information was given. We don't know yet, um, but we'll see what goes on. Uh, there might be a lot of decision making this time, so it's a very good heavy RP kind of session, so I hope you enjoy. Let's get started. I can't believe we got uh, to it. Anyways. Sponsored by Rule 34. Uh, also sponsored by Popeyes, because I want Popeyes. No, Thank you. Not sponsored by that piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, guys. So, Alistair, um, Zen, Cal, and Gradle, you are all in the inn talking to each other. Um, I don't know whose room you're in technically right now. Did we clarify which one? Probably Cal. Okay. So our room. Okay. All right, um, you guys are talking. It's about uh, four or five o'clock right now. <clears throat> um, over the situations, um, Zen's not sick, so wow, Yay! that's good. Mm -hmm. I found him, guys. Wow, he lived. Yeah. We totally just didn't leave him there to get better. Definitely, he definitely kicked polio's ass. <laughs> polio, influenza, <laughs> chlamydia, everything. Um, I, I have these items strong. that I need identified. Oh, I got a I got a headband and a a, a, a switch we'll call it a ring. Well, which would you prefer first? Uh, the headband. Yeah. You can identify that. Take it. Yeah, yeah you can, for ten minutes. Yeah. yeah. Oh. He's doing it as a ritual. Um, He's always wearing a mask. I was talking to Stoffy while I was. You're playing. you're I can't you, hear you. you're going to be concentrating on that. I can't so. hear you. <laughs> so you can talk to your idol. Okay, what? So, uh, I was talking to Stompy for a long time, so getting him, and uh, she's known Darkthon for a very long time. They seem to be all friends. Stage they whisper. go way, way back? Speak up a little. Um, yeah, they go way back. Way, way back? All right. Yeah, so they're like good buddies. Um, she also thinks Renick is dead. Yeah, talking he, about he that. told her a lot. Yeah, a lot of stuff. It doesn't seem like Even stuff I had forgotten, he told good. her. Good things will not happen if we stay here. Can I, uh... We should leave. We should leave? Oh, yeah. I'm about to say we should have left after the last mission. All right. We should have just took it with us. All right, cool. So, leaving? That would be the best chance. Obviously, let's wait for Cal. Well, Cal can't hear us. So what else wait. happened? What else happened? I was, I was basically in a coma for most of what happened, if that's what you're asking. We basically, when you got me, we just basically went shopping. That's kind of all we did. <laughs> and we went up and we talked to a guard whose name was, what was his name? You know him more than I do. Yeah. Bookkeeper. Um, er, 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 I-R-E is how his I name is spelled. Ire. R? Ire. And he Ire. is a he is a dragoon like the man at the front gate. I'm not a dragoon. No, not no. The guy that was You're a there. dragoon? No. Oh, okay. If I was a Are dragoon. you sure you're a dragoon? <laughs> I don't think you're if a dragoon. I was gonna be a dragoon. He I might be a dragoon. dragoon. <laughs> what are you talking about? I think he is a dragoon. He's a dragoon. Is he a dragoon? I don't know though. I don't think he is. Is he a dragoon? Uh maybe. He is a Not all dragons have Yes, yes, he is a dragoon. I feel like this yeah. Is, I'm not a dragon. I feel like this could be a prominent strategy if we get in trouble with Dargathon. We just confuse him <laughs> with our, with our speech. speech. Maybe. Uh, so yeah, um, but he he, there are two different people in the same body. What the fuck? Yeah, he doesn't. The one at the north old gate to go into the castle doesn't know the one at the front gate. Oh, I thought you were talking about their sharing bodies. You're assuming they're the same person. Oh. Yeah, we're assuming they're the same person. Oh, yeah. We also met this. Bodies. We okay. also met this. Uh, this orc who was really upset. Right. I don't know why. I mean, all we were doing was talking to him. So well, I feel sorry for him. Orcs yeah. are stupid. Yeah. Wow. 
hour. You're orcs like, were harmed in the making of this video. <laughs> Tell us Batman if orcs is your favorite class. <laughs> so that's pretty much what is going on. Yeah. Well, good. We should yeah, get out of here then. We, we gotta interrupt Cal and go. This then. is not my favorite place. Uh, you're identifying. Um, Since you're identifying it, give me a, a d20 straight. Oh, God, what is this? A fate check? Oh. 19. That's okay. Cool. Oh, wow. Easy clap. Um, it's a headband of intelligence. Oh, yeah. Headband yes. of intelligence. I'll take that. I oh, don't need that. That's, that sounds more like a mind reader. Wow, you're hogging all the hands yourself. It will permanently, while you're wearing it, increase your intelligence by one. Mm, that's not bad. What's your intelligence at right now? It's, just, it's a headband. Of negative one? Smartness. No, it's, it's pretty high, isn't it? Mine? Because we're a wizard, usually your intelligence is yes. really high. It's very oh, pivotal. Is. For yeah, no, you, I'll take it. I need a plus one. He's a sorcerer. He runs on charisma. Oh, charisma. Yeah. So how high is your My intelligence? Is 15, 15, so... Well, that probably would help put me up there. At 16, the and he's got a new level. Magic. Yes. Right. Yeah. My intelligence is 13. Yeah, mine is 12. Which, I, which, I mean, you would go to a plus 2 in intelligence while wearing it. So, like, your intelligence modifier would be a 2 instead of a 1. All I right. mean, he did just give, like, all that information. You might need the... Yeah, give him the, give him the band. Well, let's see what this ring does. Anyway, are you yeah, in for another 10 minutes? Yeah. Well, um, you need to know what's going on. Are you guys... Uh, are oh, you yeah. Did I miss anything? Uh, we need to leave soon. Now. Why? Because we're Why? in danger. I stole talk stopping too much. I what did you, you tell her? Everything. Tell her about Renick, uh, a ritual summoning. Um, Dargathon? I mean, her and Dargathon are good old buddy chaps, friends. They get along. They, they go to tap dancing classes. Time. Did you tell her that we are not? Is your dark? is the door open by the way? Oh, no. Okay. It is closed, and my servant is standing. There at the doorstop. Oh yeah. To get um, pushed over very easily. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a stop sign. You just. I didn't say anything about the Zentaro. Well, then, from what I could hear. Danger. From what I could hear. Oh, I knew it. Who's that? I'll walk. I'll kind of start walking towards the door. Can I creep towards the door? Hey, I'm about to make this portal to take us to the Zentaro. Well, boys, pack up your shit. The Zentaro is also here. So Alright, okay. Uh, yeah. Coming. Sorry, I have to put on clothes. I, I need, need pants. <laughs> are you just, are you making the portal right now? Yes. Is it gonna be loud? I, is portal making loud? You're using magical stuff and it's becoming it would make a Alright, I'm gonna just check the wait. door. Yeah. Just chill the fuck out then. Whoever did you stand by the door, stay out of sight. Why? Keep doing you. You stay stay here. Should because we have a place you, if they don't know where you are, then you have better Wow. Advantages. Good point. Wow. All right, check to see who it is. <coughs> oh, I take my uh, you, who, who is it? it? It's one of uh, the servants. Um, may I come in? What for? Um, well, the master told me to come in and tell you some information. I'm right behind him, so inside check on that. Sure. Come on in. Put some plug in the wrist. In. 17? Oh, uh, it sounds sincere. Ugh. That's not my guess. Uh, it doesn't sound scared. Yeah, we'll go ahead. I'll, I'll, I'll like slowly creep it open and kind of peek through. Okay, see. it's it's one of the gnomes. I wish there was a chain on Pull that door. Open. Mm -hmm. yeah. Come on, yeah. Are you looking on the side of the door or anything? Yeah, just, you know, okay. not for long. Grab him. Do you just kind of like looks and is like, okay, thank you. And he comes in. Are you, are all is of you guys kind of like in a ready stance or what, what are you doing? Uh, I'm behind the door. One of the <laughs> I'm, I'm looking like I'm about to make this portal according to how this <laughs> conversation goes. I'm literally just standing there. I kind of wait. Okay. What are you doing? I'm behind He's hiding. Door. Oh, you're hiding? Okay. Uh, give me a stealth check. Oh, oh 18. Oh. Excuse me. Oh. Nice. No, that's so good. He gets a plus. It's 11. Give me that. So it was a five again. Um, he doesn't notice you. Ha! Um, <clears throat> well, assassinated. Um, oh, God. 
Are you closing the door or? Okay. okay. Close door. Um, he just kind of turns to. Uh, my master says uh, there's some orcs down in the the bottom of the inn, or just like the main floor, basically, um, asking for um, adventurers that kind of look like you guys. They said uh, to warn you. Oh, what? We have to go. <laughs> Let How many in. of them were there? Um, I think it was uh, at least a party of orcs. A party? What is that, eight? Parties like around uh, four to five. Uh, uh, a like group would technically be from like six to seven, and then a... Power and chicken and power. I'm trying to think. It's too bad uh, I couldn't get that off camera. And then a like a, a gang at least would be like eight to twelve. So four or five orcs. Already. Were there any more outside, or was that? Well, we didn't see. He just told me to, to come up and. See. Here's the here's the problem from how I see it. If a skirmish were to break out, we would essentially be declaring war on Dargathon's people if we just leave. We have done nothing wrong. Oh. Well, again, I don't think they really know what our real purpose is here. They might not. For if we smooth talk them, <coughs> we might be able to. Well, you know that's not my forte. forte. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that is some of our forte. We you could do? try. We could always use the portal as a last. I, I like the portal. Too. I don't I like necessarily portal. trust the Zentar portal. I like portal now. I like that. Nothing against you, Alistair. That's right. All right. You're He's oddly right. silent. Yeah. He's oddly very silent. Um, but yeah, so uh, I mean, the gnome just tells you this information, so it's it's, just, it's like um, he's just standing there. He's like, "Well, this is because my master told me to come up here and tell you guys." Oh God, look at his trumpet. Well, we. Oh, Aww. Aww. Bye, Daddy. <laughs> 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 I really hope it caught that. It, it did. There's no way it didn't. It, it did. There's no one else here. It did. That had to have caught it. <laughs> Look at all that food. Hell oh, yeah. We are. Uh, so don't tell me you got the rip and chicken. I hope you did. So we are. No, I got the good, good. Debating on whether or not to smooth talk these or, or leave right So y'all can leave that up to me to talk to them? Yeah. Well, here's the thing you can talk to them, and in a pivotal moment, if we need to make sure it succeeds. Why don't you, say why don't you portal talk could while be you a, prepare the portal? Then. The portal could be the last option. The portal could be the last resort. Also, it's only about four or five of them. I'm sure we could take them in a, in a skirmish. Have you seen me in a fight? No, nobody ever sees you. That's, the <laughs> That's point. true. That's a good point. That's how we like it. If we can, if we can keep them in this small little area, we may be able to just get the shit out of them. Over. If we need to, I think we should. Tell her, try it. We should try to talk to them because we still have things we need to do here. What else do we need to do here? I'm ready to scout this if I have any. Yeah, my that's in the treasure. We need to check out these mines. That's all true. Alright, y'all want to try to sweet talk these hoes? We can sweet talk these hoes. Um, I'll try these guys in the guard tools. Uh, excuse me, I have to go back to. Oh, yes, yes, thank you. Uh, I'll, I'll flip them up. Uh, thank you. Um, is any of your other rooms occupied? Like your stuff or anything in them? Or? Nope. Um, Would that be a weird This is all my stuff. Yeah, no, I should, have, yeah. I should have all my stuff on me. The only okay. thing that's left is that chest. Okay. Um, with the egg in it that nobody knows. I'll go. I can't. I can't. I'll, I'll go see how my master is handling oh everything, God. and uh, uh, if they decide to come up or anything, I can probably see if I can guide them to the wrong room if you guys want to escape. Uh, let's let's leave. I like leaving. If we if we run now, oh my God, Jesus! Jesus they just came on that, bro. We got chicken, that's my <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> so 
Popeyes. There's so much. And Ooh, now you guys wonder, you know why I hate Popeyes. <laughs> <laughs> There's shit quality. Oh my god, I love it. This video oh. is still awesome. Oh, <laughs> it's still I'm so glad I'm going to have one of these of my own. Bro. I am so glad. That's too much. Look at all that. <laughs> I can start my own company with all of this. Why don't you? <laughs> do you need some excess mayonnaise on your sandwiches? Popeye's chicken will do it for you. Start your own porn. God damn. <laughs> and he's rubbing off food porn now. It's just don't worry, guys. He's safe. Oh. He's safe. Oh. Okay. Back on course. Anyway, back, back on course. course. Uh, so the gnome uh, leaves graciously. That's how we distract um. him. Give him a sandwich with too much mayo. Yeah. What am I gonna do with this? <laughs> uh, so you guys are still in the room. Um, so what? What's the plan? Are you guys waiting the here? You are you, you there, there are, are windows them, to your room. To to let's look at all of them. them. See, I'm, I'm with we them. Need to, well, let's let's. Actually, can I look out the window? Quick. Yeah. Can we look out the window? Can I look yeah. The window? <laughs> yeah. No, I want. Peek let me get the room window check. Yeah. Well, you're all in this room, so it's just one person basically peeking out the window. Yeah. Sure. I don't care who, who's who's uh trying to do it. Perception what, check. What would it be? Perception. Perception check. check. I'll give you advantage. Right. Ah ah. Wait, is it a crit? No. If it's high, we'll wait. Wait, it? it's low, we want the reroll. <laughs> what is it? No. no! What are you doing? It was cocked. Okay. You get you get advantage. Okay. Don't need it. All right. Um. Nat twenty. Yes. Oh, Jesus Christ. It doesn't okay. seem like there's any guards at all outside. No one outside exists. Um, okay. Um. Just some. <clears throat> Uh, folk just running around. Uh, there's a carriage parked outside, though. Carriage. How fancy does it look? Um, it looks like an average carriage. It doesn't. Ha it has basically. It has the. It's the wagon, but with the the white tent over it. Um, there's two horses. Also, this is royal. Um, this this window is attached to it. For what? How high up are we? Yeah, Sorry. it's second floor. If I had to guess, I feel like they are going to try to interrogate I mean, it looks like just an average, like, AKA cover by I was wondering if it was like royalty or this something. This window, no. it opens, no. correct? Huh? This window opens, correct? Yeah. Can I send our team to go check out the way? Yeah. And fly down, just... Not like, you know... Is Archimedes stealthing? Like, like, look through, Is but like, Archimedes just kind of like, fly though? around. Is Archimedes stealthing, though? Yeah. Like as he's flying? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. Sure. 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 Nonchalant flying. Sure. 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 <laughs> Let me see that still. I think there's a plug for you still. Okay. Is that It's a little squishy too. Yeah, he has a plug. Okay. Crunchy and squishy. See? Jeez. Cool. Okay. Natural. Natural. Um, he's so a very he's, stealthy bird. Yeah, he's very stealthy. So he won't be able to get anything right now. Very good bird. Is there anything going on in the like like he's just I just wanted to scope around like see uh it just seems driving like it, if there's, if there's no one driving it, it just seems to be uh hooked up to um a tether basically for a hitch for a horse. Um and they're just kind of eating uh food just in a trough. Um it's just waiting there. Um, there's nobody inside. There's there. nobody inside, there's not even supplies, not anything right now. Um, it just seems to be an empty wagon. Um, there are more people, like orcs, heading toward the inn. About how many? Um, about 21. Oh, Jesus. Wow, we really uh, one, stuck here too one, one seems to be uh, big. Oh. And off color. Oh. Dark as well. Dark as well. Make a portal. <clears throat> no, we do, we do not want to take this portal until, unless it is the last resort. How are we gonna talk our way out of this? We don't necessarily. Well, at this point, I think we should probably just escape out the window. But they're gonna surround us. Not if we act quickly. You probably have about 20, 30 minutes to make your decision. They're far off. Uh -huh. Oh, they're very far. Okay. Because they're coming down from the second level. Let's leave. Oh, I, right I want to oh, leave. Yep. Should we try to leave? Yes. I wonder. They're all leaving now. Perhaps we'll make the unguarded. Oh, God. I'm just saying. I don't think we are. They're spending them. I'm just I'm saying this many. may be our best chance at this current time. But oh, no, no, no. We could either run or we could take the I will. I will ask him a question because I think I remember you talking about it. Or you guys would know. Does it, because I think you guys, you guys met Dargan on one of the previous ones. Yes, we were all So I would, I'll ask him. 
are you is that one Dargathon? Like, is it the same color? Because you described the color, mm -hmm. correct? So I'll ask him and yeah. he would know. Is it the same color? Yep. As okay. So it could be Dargathon uh, for sure. Yes. I am feeling like out of the castle. castle. That means there's a bunch of little goons that are sitting right there. Who's that boy? I'm with you on this. The only problem is I got, the, there. I got the impression that Stoffy could be <clears throat> the big bad guy of this whole situation. <laughs> no, it seems like she's just very indifferent and wants to just I guess take care of the sick. Oh no, really. but she is aligned with Dargazon that needs to be there to rescue her. They're best buds. They they see each other's families on Christmas. That's Are we sure this is out. like her oh, she doesn't have like an alter persona or something like that? Uh, whatever we do, I suggest we just put <coughs> How are we going to get to the castle? Well, we could make us fly. <laughs> can we miss these stuff all the way through? I'm not a bird watcher. I'm guessing they would see us fly. If we're we, going up. Let's tunnel that. You, you will all have disadvantage if you use fly. I understand what you're saying. I feel like we might be better off well, surviving. We could, we could wait. Until the Dargathon and his, his posse pass by. Oh, fuck, I knew it. Uh, Open the doors. It's the magic game. Alright, I'm, I'm behind the door again. Okay. Well, like. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure you just were talking behind the door, too. Are well, you guys opening again? Uh, well, I'm gonna ask who it is first. It, it's me. It's a... is, it, is it just you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Here's on the Crack it open. Yep, it's just enough. Alright, come on in. Quickly. No. Close the uh, door. Uh, uh, I think there's more coming. Um, Thank you. Uh, you can leave, leave now. Uh, <laughs> but he said um, there's a uh, horse down there in an empty wagon that you guys can use. Uh -huh. How are we getting in down there? Insight check. Sure. I hope he's fine. Some of the people are just waiting out there for us, yeah. That is very good to see. Gosh, 16. Yeah. Same, same, too. Okay. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Alright. We're going to go. Are we leaving or are we going up to the castle? We are going to go take the carriage to the castle. Are you discussing this while the gnome's here? Can yes. the gnome drive us and we hide in the wagon? I would, yeah. have, I would have to let my master know. Yes. Let him know. I don't think you really have to let him know that. I, I we'll mean, tell him. We'll make sure he knows. Uh, and I'll flip him a gold. Yep. Yeah. Oh. oh, okay. Can we um, just buy you? Don't worry, we will yell really loud give, and he'll hear it. Can we give Alistair a new sleep? But we need you to drive us to the castle. Uh, okay, but I don't think you guys can get down stairs from here, so you're going to have to use the window. That's okay. Fine. That's no worries. Okay. Um, I'll meet you out in the wagon then. Alright. Okay. You was our track. Can you fit through the window? Yes, I can fit. We can all fit through this window. <clears throat> okay. Can yeah. we all fit? You can all fit. Okay. I'll go, I'll go first. So I'll, I'll push open the window. Sure. This texture. And I'll jump out. I'll use slow fall. Yeah. Sure. Can you pass it on to the rest of us? No, no it's a monk. Yeah. Use that feather ball though. Yeah, I don't want to waste it on this. Sure. Um, I mean, you get to like, I mean, the inn has a top roof, and you're at one of the windows. It also has like shingling under it, so it has like a all bit, but it's so still levels. there's still other than that. It's just you can jump down. It's just gonna oh. be ten feet. Oh. Oh shit. Sure. I'll I'll jump. Just down try and fly, hold yeah. on, then yeah, just, then kind of just yeah. Drop. You'll you Stealthily. guys would be fun. Yeah. Stealthily. Stealthily. So well, stealthily, next. if you want to try and do that, so it would be stealth. So. All right. All right, let's stealth. I'm going next. You first. I'm first, because I jumped out first. <laughs> We're starting <laughs> off great. Uh, natural one. All right. I'm not falling. Bang! Right. Well, uh, <laughs> do you want to uh, take a fate? Yeah. Okay. Wow. The situation, yes. Okay. Okay, uh, you succeed. Um, doesn't seem like nobody noticed you uh, coming out of the window. Just checking outside a game. You, you we're limited to two per mm. run, right? Okay, just want to make sure. Two more, two per run. Okay. <clears throat> um, Got a 
save it now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, whoever is going to 15, 16 total. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem like anybody knows any of you. Um, maybe just a little bit of banging or <laughs> clacking, yeah, um, of like metal. But uh, you guys are right next to the, the uh, wagon. All right, we're all getting in the bag. Is there a rider at, at the helm? I mean, are you guys just jumping into the wagon? Is she out there? Well, I'm going to scope it out first, kind of. Yeah, there's nobody in there. It's empty. Anything in there? No. <coughs> there any traps? I doubt it. It's too late to check for that. I mean, yeah. there's barrels on the side of the thing you can put in there to look like there's stuff in there. Mm -hmm. There's some uh, flour and stuff like that to, like, supplies. Is the gnome coming out yet? No. Yeah. All right, well, maybe we have enough time. Let's, let's try and keep hope and put a few things in here. All right. Okay. It'll be strength checks from all of you. I just give Except me, I'll. Nope, nope. You should have everybody. Can I just give my work to Kel? Huh? I just give uh, my work to Kel. Yeah. Everybody has to do one. Uh, negative zero. Or zero uh, exactly. uh, Is it strength or athletics? Uh, strength. Zero. zero throwing barrels in. Okay. Zero exactly. Uh, 17. Well, he wasn't throwing anything, just like I, I told him right. to go stand there. Um, you guys are making uh, a bit of noise, uh, throwing stuff in. Um, it doesn't. It seems to catch passers by or just noticing you. You know, stuffing mm -hmm. stuff in. It seems like you're just loading up a wagon. That's what it looks like. But you're making uh, a little bit of noise. We are loading uh, a wagon. You are wagon trying here. to lift <laughs> a flat, like a ten pound flour thing, and just a sack of flour, <laughs> and you're just like ten pound, just. <laughs> and you were struggling, just <laughs> just struggling while everybody else is at least putting something in. You're just there on the ground, just trying I'll, to. Lift I'll this walk in. over to him and I'll help him. Okay. <laughs> with the ten pounds sack. With 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 one arm. Yeah. <laughs> um. But yeah, so uh, you guys make it uh, provision to be like you guys can hide in like the front of it while all this stuff is in the back. Um, basically, just spreading the wagon out so it looks full. So they can't kind of see in the back. Um, so you guys have to go enter from the front and then go into the, um, go into the wagon. Yep. Um, but it doesn't seem like the gnome's out yet. What the fuck is going on? Can we just like... Why are you going to drive it? Who haven't they seen? They've seen all of them. No, they haven't seen you. Stop is the only one that's seen you, Mike. Or Kel. Stop is seen all of them. <laughs> Stop is him. Yeah, stop his scene. Oh, right. And they've seen me because we went well, to the shop. Well, I was talking about Dargathon, so Dargathon hasn't seen you. That's what That's I'm saying. That's true. Anyone got a pass? Yeah, way. okay. I'll try to mosey up to the front. Sure. I mean, are all of you trying to get in right now? Yes. Okay, so you guys are uh, getting in. Are you going to get in or are you going to try and be at the... I'm gonna be at the front. I'm gonna kind of like uh, I've kind of got like my hood. Like I'll try to like put my hood up. Okay, so I can't that's see. fine. I'm just like a normal person. Um, are you gonna go uh, dehitch the horse and stuff like that? Yeah, I'm gonna okay. get it ready for. All right. Um, for the horses off. seemed a little bit timid from you, so uh, you're gonna have to get a. There, there, horse. Let's do a. Animal handling. Yeah. <clears throat> animal handling. That's the only wow. time you're ever gonna get to do it. Cal gets all the fun rolls. Eleven. Okay. Um, they still seem very timid, um, but you're able to at least calm them down a bit. But um, they're still really timid. Okay. Whoa, horsey. Whoa. I'm not even doing it. Yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa. I'm just looking at just it. Just whoa. Whoa. Um, whoa. Did it's you? De just... Are you dehitching them? Yeah. Okay. Um, it seems like they're gonna like buck a little bit. Are you gonna try and put them back on the hitch? Yes, I will. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, they kind of stop yanking a little bit, and they seem to be a little bit calmer. Um, the gnome pops out from uh, the side. It's like, oh, you're getting everything ready. Uh, yeah, don't worry about it. I'll dehitch it. Cool. Good, Good horse. Take haste. Are you okay. trying to pet it? <laughs> On the top. Okay. Uh, really? Yeah. <laughs> 
I was expecting him to get killed. Make a. Uh, I'm by the front of the horse. Yeah, it can still headbutt you. Fine. I thought you were going to kick me. Or they can kick from the front, too. Yeah, they can. Not as well, but they can. Yeah, they can. Um, I guess you can turn and kick. Horses kill, yeah. too, yo. Horses are some. Make a. Dexterity uh, check. Dex check. Okay. Hey. Not a saving throw. Oh, uh, saving throw. Sorry about that. Oh, a saving throw? Yeah. Oh, that didn't work. No, yeah, that's not bad. That's good. Yeah, that's a saving throw. Yeah, I forgot you got stacked up. Yeah. Uh, 22. Yep, you're fine. Yeehaw. You kind of missed the headbutt, and you're like, all right, I'm not touching anymore. I'm going to go back to the wagon. Um, are you guys all hiding now in the wagon? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, do you have the cover closed, or are you having it partially open? It's partially open. Or is it closed? Partially open. Yeah, close it. Close it? Um, so you guys are in a wagon, you can't see anything other than like okay. silhouettes. I'm gonna talk to me to fly up as high as I can within my range just to keep an eye out on things. Okay. Do they know you got an L? Oh, they do. Are owls native Possibly. to these parts? Um, but, uh, so Archimedes is as high as you can get reasonably and looking straight down at you guys with a good enough vision, not trying to be lucid. Um, and then the gnome gets in, and you start feeling the the wagon kind of dehitched and take starting to take off down uh, a little bit. Um, You're not doing a good job. I'm not. I'm not driving. So <laughs> um, <laughs> but you guys are slowly going at a like slow pace, kind of just going down. Um, and the gnome's like, "Where are, are, are we headed to the gate? Uh, where are we going? To the castle. To the castle. Take us up." I thought you guys wanted to leave. Well, we wanted to leave the inn. <laughs> we do want to leave. Uh, but we need to. We were we in, to go but to then the we castle first. Thing to do first. Uh, okay. We were um, in, but we wanted out. Okay. So he starts just having the horses go. Um, we're you're, in a castle. you're seeing silhouettes of orcs pass by you guys. Um, and as it's getting uh, darker, it takes about an hour to get to where you're going, so it's basically like 6.30, almost 7 o'clock now. Did we pass by the on our way up? No. Damn it. I knew we should have waited on that. Did, did Archimedes see where? Uh, he saw a bunch of where your guys are going. You were going up the other way instead of the other. The, oh, the there are two ways. Oh, okay, good. good. Okay. Even, even stealthier. Um, so basically, the hold is uh, in canvas in the mountain, so like the different layers, yeah. right? Uh, there's one way to go up that's usually a trade route, and there's another way that's also a trade route, but it's for specific what things. What is the map of? So as we're going up, like, as it, that hour passes, mm -hmm. I'm going to start yeah. talking with Alistair a little bit and just ask him some questions. So how does your portal work exactly? Do you have, do you take us to a, do you go to a specific place? Yeah. Where do you go? My room. <laughs> do you, uh, can you go anywhere? No, it, the portal only takes me to the room. So how do you leave from your room back to us? So do you only I go leave the where you open. left? Oh, okay. So you leave Most the portal. Most of the time I leave the portal open. Or if I'm there. Well, okay, so you can't <coughs> portal somewhere else after you get to I don't, the room. I, I'm not that advanced yet. Mm -hmm. well, I, I've been asking for that just transportation just spell from all the higher-ups. And they keep telling me my, my magic skills are pretty low. But I really want the portal spell, so I could be different places. I'll okay. add him on the side. Yeah. It's While we're sitting here, I'll sit and I'll identify the, the ring. The ring, while you're going up. Okay. Um, so as you guys are still going up, um, he, he, the gnome kind of like uh, puts his hand behind and tells you what level you guys are at, and he says three. Because there's going to be another level yeah. to get to the palace, and the fourth level, mm -hmm. and then the palace level, basically. Um, or the castle. Um, but uh, he tells you you're at three, and so it's going to take a little bit longer to get up there. Mm -hmm. um, uh, if So since you're waiting, uh, the ring that is identified, um, this ornate ring, it looks um, very weird. Uh, let's see, where are you? And you already had that gem, correct? Yeah, I got the elemental. Yeah, <laughs> okay. That's another way to be. Just throw that in the middle of the street. <laughs> and just run. In it, 
I don't want to waste it though. You think it'll warp Dargazon? Well, you don't control it. Yeah, that's the thing. It could Do you think it'll anything. fight Dargazon? I mean, if Dargazon you, like, fights it. it Dargazon right? will fight it if it just comes um, out of nowhere. This uh, ring is basically a. Um, it's it's cursed. You know this. Um, cursed. But the curse is um, very unclear. Uh, it's very, very high magic. Um, if you would wear it, something will happen to you yourself, like your body. Um, but you don't, you can't really identify the full extent, of, extent of the magic unless you put the ring on. But you know it's cursed. So all I know is that it's cursed. I don't even have like a general idea of what the. It seems very out of your scope of. Um, like arcana knowledge. Mm -hmm. It's cursed. All right, cool. There you you want to look it for it in the book of everything. I want the ring. Wow. I mean, I would like this. What are you going to give me for the headband? That's a great question. I do have. I'll take that. Give me the amulet for the headband. <laughs> Alright, cool. I got the amulet yep. and the ring. Just uh, tell how, what the things are and switching it so you can write it down. Uh, the amulet of proof against detection. Should be no, in, it should be in D&D Beyond. Beyond. Yeah. And you said mine. Yeah. For the, the, head. the headband is not. It's just. The it's, amulet of proof of what? Amulet of proof. Um, as you guys are going up, uh, you feel the the wagon uh, slow down and then come to a complete stop. And you hear a couple people uh, talking outside. The gnome, obviously, is one of them. And uh, uh, are you guys trying to listen to the conversation? Yes. Okay. Um, you all hear the conversation. Um, it's like, what's uh, what's going to the the keep? Uh, just some regular supplies from one of the inns. Um, it's orc is very, very, um, and, like, not angry. An asshole? Not, I mean, possibly. Uh, he, he sounds very, like, stern and trying to find out the motive of why these supplies are going up so high. Um, being you guys were on level two. Um, and he's like, well, no, I'm, I'm just taking you at the order of, uh, my master. And he said, I have to go up to another seller to sell these goods. It's like, uh, let me see the back. Mm. Are you guys going to try and do anything? Or are you guys going to say How anything? well hidden are we? Well, I guess if he comes and looks back here, it <laughs> wouldn't fucking matter. But if he does, I could cast blindness and deafness on him. Well, both are great I options. Mean, I mean, aren't you able to make things very dark around us, too? Uh, I have such a skill. Yeah, but if you put darkness <laughs> in a wagon, it's concealed. Well, I think blindness and deafness would be the best <laughs> well, that's, option. Well, that's like attacking him too. We just like yeah. I feel like we. we just, we're just, um, we just are you guys gonna just stealth or? I don't know. We can't. We can try to hide as the first option. Fuck it. Yeah. We'll I guess we'll try. All you hear, all you heard was like two, like gate guards basically. Yeah, I guess. We're going to roll for stealth, boys. Yeah, I guess. If they see yeah. us, we just whoop their ass. I guess that's how that goes. Because, uh, I mean, you're seeing it from it. You're uh, right. the point where he is. I can't. I don't can somebody give me advantage? <laughs> oh, man, we're holding hands out in the open. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I got that. 13. <laughs> okay. Um, so, definitely, it's 6 30, 7 o'clock, anyways. Um, and uh, the guard just opens up, has a torch, kind of looks around, and he starts seeing glints of armor and a weird robe. He's like, "Are you sure there's no one back here?" And the gnome's like, uh, "I I don't believe so. Um, there could be just some blankets and some armors made." And he looks in. Let's see if you're old. What the fuck? 
Please be good. Uh, it's like, uh, all right, move on. <laughs> no way. What? <laughs> it was to roll. <laughs> How do you not notice the McDonald's fry under my seat? <laughs> all that mayo was all over the place. Yeah. The back is everywhere. It was like that scene from Daddy Daycare where Eddie Murphy goes in the back. <laughs> 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 Oh, uh, this is why I never have kids because I'm that way. <laughs> like, what did I that do never here last night? Though. It hasn't uh, happened yet. Uh, <laughs> All right. You so should see me when I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyways. Uh. So yeah, he says you can move along. Um. It's gonna be another hour until you can go up. Um. To the fourth level. So. Um. So it'll be later at night. So. I'm gonna um, look up the rain wow. Sure. Uh, roll for history check. Anybody give an event? No. <laughs> 20 total. Okay. Um, you know this ring was uh, basically uh, it's cursed because um, the wear is not possessed by a demon, but it starts hearing uh, voices from a demon that's uh, residing in the ring. That's trapped inside. There's a demon in the ring? What kind? Um, it's just uh, I I think it's uh, just a regular standard demon. Um, there's nothing too much to it, but uh, you gain access to um, demon speech, so infernal language. Um, uh, potential to fly with demon wings. Um, you you will if you wear this ring, uh, you will start growing horns. <laughs> Wow. Um, Do I have one? Uh, slowly becoming the demon with so. itself. Can I ever take the ring back off? Uh, it doesn't say. That's, uh, that's a scary one, dude. Ain't it? How long does it take for me to turn into a full fledged demon in the ring? Um, it tries to give you the last person that wore it um, was then became a demon that was possessed about uh i think a month or two wow so now they're D does the person that wears it then do they go into the ring yeah it basically swaps it rotates. yeah it, it basically swaps possession of whoever's in the ring at the time gets pushed into the ring it's like you're swapping souls basically all right cool. i don't want it i just put the ring in my bag <laughs> Present for this, uh, this headband. I was the, yeah. Does yeah. it require attunement? <laughs> you don't like on and it's marked. Um, it does require attunement. So while we're going from third to fourth, would I have enough time to? Yeah, it will. It will take an hour. Okay. I'll sit yep. here and I'll look really hard about this. Just, just trying to. I believe that I'm wearing this correctly. It's basically you're putting it on and you're trying to attune with the magic. Like you're just trying to feel the hum of it. I got this crazy ass ring. You look very pretty with that on. Some would say dashing. Um, so again, uh, there's a couple guards at the other gate. So it's about 7.30, 8 o'clock. Um, the gnome comes up and it's like, I'm just bringing some more supplies. Um, the guards kind of look disgruntled because Archimedes is looking down. Um, but they seem just to uh, pass you right along. Cool. So are we on to the fourth level now? We are on to the fourth level. Which is right before the actual cap. Yep. So you guys, it will take about another 30 minutes to get there if you guys are fully trying to go to the castle um, or you're going to try and get off at the fourth floor. This seems like our best way in. The fourth floor? <coughs> yeah. We're floor. staying in the, in the coach wagon. Okay. You guys are going to stay in the wagon? The coach wagon. All right. Uh, you guys... Uh, go up all the way to the top of the hold. Um, just, it's just an amazing feat. Um, basically, it is a castle built into the tip of the mountain, um, almost to the peak, um, just shy of um, just like the elevation level of it being very cold and snowy, um, just shy of it. Uh, but you go in, there's a bunch of guards out there, and he kind of uh, Riding up, he's like, "Are you sure you guys want to?" Like, he's kind of about how many guards are there? Um, Archimedes can tell there's about twelve guards just out and about, 
uh, in the front, kind of talking to each other. See what they're talking about. Yeah, bird, go. <laughs> bird, go. Right? Well, he, there's the wagon coming up over the yeah, arch. Yeah, we were right towards them. Well, Heading no towards one them. Noticed. So do you want him to keep going or try and stop there and ask to be let in? He's like, what's the plan? You should hold him. He's, he's having to keep going. You have about like 10 seconds to the side. Just leave it how it is. We're going like this. All right, let's go in. Right. Um, so he gets up to the gate. Uh, a bunch of uh, orcs are kind of just huddled up in a group uh, to the right of the wagon. And uh, another uh, guard comes up. He's like, "What? What's this?" It's like, "Oh, um, it's just a couple supplies for uh, the hold, and uh, we're just trying to make sure the wine and everything." Oh, wine! It's like, "Yeah, there's a few barrels and stuff in the back." I I was graciously making sure we could take them to the hold. It's like, "Uh, is there anything else? Food stores?" Like, "Yeah, there's some." flour, bread, and stuff like that in the back. I uh, just wanted to make preparations for you guys. Um, you can obviously hear him. He's kind of distressed at this point. Uh, and the orc is like, um, let me check your wares. Everybody needs to roll stuff. Damn it. My step of home. Eleven. Nine. Ooh, those are good. Two no. natural points. You're fine. <laughs> oh, shit. Right. With disadvantage. Uh, and then what was yours? Okay, yours. You're fine. Um, yours was a two or nine? Nine. Eleven. Okay. Um, you seem to be closer to where the stuff was. Um, they're hidden, kind of tucked away in the shadows, right in the forefront. So he gets back there with torch, and he's like, ah. Uh, who are uh, these two companions back here with you? Because um, he doesn't see the other two. Is it not the droids you're looking for? Um, you're the talker. <laughs> are you are you pretending to be asleep or are you trying to? <laughs> I'm faking sleep. sleep. Are you gonna try and do the same? Sure. Okay. Uh, he's like, <sighs> he kind of try and poke, like he draws a sword and pokes at you. Um, are you trying to move or anything? No. He's going to poke a little bit harder. He's going to stab you. I'm not moving. Open. Not even a wiggle? Alright, he's poking you. I say ouch, but I don't wake up at all. You say ouch? It's like, are, are these your companions? It's like, Oh yeah, they, they're the ones that were helping me load up here. These were some of the people. <laughs> These two. Um, and so he's like, is it only the two of them? It's like, yeah, yes. Uh, he is very distressed. <laughs> Can we calm him down? You're the one with the spell. Nice. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Put a month thing on his <laughs> shit. Um, he doesn't believe that they're uh, him at all. Gonna do, boys. This He's like, hmm, uh, all right. Tell your companions to get out. Then I'm, I will. I'm gonna. I'm gonna come what out are you gonna do? I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna this is an orc. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna talk to him. Uh, we're just we're just helpful servants, and uh, uh, I didn't see you there. Uh, like what? Yeah, my apologies. My apologies. My apologies. I, I was sleeping. I heard the commotion. Uh, but uh, we'd we'd greatly appreciate it if you could just help us along. Well, he said there was only two of you. Oh, no, no, no. He is, he's tired. It's been a while. But if you could just let us through, it would be great, and I will cast Suggestion on him. You can try and cast Suggestion. <laughs> uh, sure. Try and cast Suggestion. Can you read me? Yes. We are not we always learn the best for He just has every spell in the book. It's a wisdom save of 14. Uh... He seems to be uh, very resilient to uh, what you're trying to suggest. And he's, he just looks at you and it's like, um, uh, no, all of you come out now. Uh, or we'll burn the wagon. Can I just 
What the fuck are we? Is he, is he in the wagon right Who now? Who is around him? Uh, there's a couple guards that are starting to pay, perked up, paying attention to him. Fuck. I just want to stop. How many did we say there were? Twelve. Um, in the area? Mm-hmm. There's one off to the side, and there's a couple. What do y'all want to do? Fucked up, didn't we? What do y'all want to do? Run. Well, like, they can carry you. Come out now, or we're going to burn the wagon. Is he in? Is he like. He is has a torch in his hand, and he can just toss it in. Is, is he, he wearing armor? He is. Damn it. Is, it. is it metal? It is metal. I'll reach out, and I will. It's okay if you're in metal, okay? It's not okay. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> JV's smooth uh, over here. <laughs> sure. Attempt. Natural 20. Okay. Wow. Uh, you do roll. shock him. Uh, Shocking. Yeah. Uh, roll for damage. Where are we at right now? The freaking castle. We're at the castle? Yeah. Like the gates. Where you been? Gates yeah. to the castle. Mm-hmm. I've been, okay, it's a yeah, great that's place that we went. Oh, yeah. I'm glad we went to the castle. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, not great. Uh, four <laughs> times two, so eight. Eight damage. Uh, he seems to let go of the torch. And it falls into the wagon. Nice uh, job. But he backs off. It's roll for initiative. Sweet. I know. Uh, what about me? I'm just laying there. Actually, everybody's <laughs> rolling for initiative. To roll. uh, the people that are laying down, that is currently you two. Yeah. Ten. You are prone in a wagon with a torch. I can't believe this man. I can't believe I'm ten. Look, it's either if we have okay. to run, so I mean. There's 12 of them. Somebody's coming to the door. I'm rather that way. Uh, Who the fuck are you? I don't care who's coming to the door. It's, it's closed. It's closed. Go away. Close. These are dark times, boys. I, I have I come to go away. I guarantee he's going to call. He's going to call. He won't go. He so. just took us off. Yeah, yeah, he, he, he had to be a sign and walk out. I thought I did that. Roll for initiative. I did. Who did it? No, I'm an initiative to go after the guy. Oh, oh. oh. Roll for initiative. You better. What'd you roll? Not good. Not good. I rolled ten. You rolled ten. Six. <laughs> I Four. Don't roll, I don't roll initiative. Excuse you. <laughs> We're gonna find. Wanna tell him what you rolled? When he's ready. One. <laughs> Nine. Four. Wow. You rolled a really? one. Somehow I'm going Two. second. Oh, wow, I thought God. 10 was going to be low. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, All right, so you had uh, a surprise, basically, action to get him. Um, but uh, the all the orcs uh, will be going first. Ha! All, All 12 of them? Yep. Well, <laughs> uh, here we go. Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> so a lot of them are going to start tearing at the wagon. So. Can we yell at the gnome to pull off? Uh, yes, no, one nice. of them is grabbing the gnome. Uh, he's white right now. Uh, he is grappled. Yep, we're ready. Right. Alright. Um, Alright, uh, the other ones, so uh, six of them are trying to grab the wagon and rip the coverings Cover. off. Yep. Uh, they don't succeed, they're still trying to fight at it. Um. Uh, the <laughs> guard on the ground is going to try and uh, stand yeah. up. Oh, yeah, he's prone. Uh, he fails. Just try and stand up. <laughs> uh, the other couple of guys are going to try and de uh, hitch the horses, basically, so the wagon just stays there. And they succeed. So um, all of them, the, the horses are kind of like flown away. The other ones are trying to rip everything. It's taking them a little bit longer than expected. Um, and the gnome's grappled right now. Um, all right. Nobody's attacked you. The The thing is on fire. And it has three rounds left till it's engulfed. Does anyone have water? Uh, Jared. I have to get up. Half your movement. So, so, I, so movement. I got 15 feet. We have to get out of this. Yeah. Well, you're trying to stand up in a wagon, so you're kind of like hunched over. Yeah. Um, Is that too much? Are we getting out this wagon? Well, well, I don't know. We're gonna burn or something. Fire, so. Yeah. I mean, we're getting out of this thing one way or the other. It's right, where move, we're going. I'll move. I mean, you have 
the choice to act an action to make your portal, or you can just try and move That's out of the way. We're make the portal. Okay. That seems good. Are you gonna step through? Yeah. Okay. You are step through the portal. Who's coming with me? I think okay. we all are gonna have uh, to try. Well, Dylan, you are free to move because you were hiding still. Does this seem good, Dylan? I don't have to waste an action and get up, even though I was prone. No, you weren't prone. You oh, weren't hiding. Prone. It just oh. we're prone. I figured I was prone. They were sleeping. They were pretending they were sleeping. We were sleeping. pretending we were oh, cool. sleeping. Uh, this was not a dumb move. I'll jump through the portal. Okay. Why not? Mike. <laughs> I look like I belong a part of this uh, time anyways. I'll, I'll use half my movement get up. Yep. So I got 20 left. I'll look over to Cal. I'll look over to Cal and I'll just say... I think we need See to go. See you on the other side. And I, I go through the portal. <laughs> right. See you on the other side, All boys. Right. You're gonna stay here fighting. I know, but come on. Um, does it take an action to go through the portal, or you just run through it? Yeah, it's so an action to go through the portal. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. Uh, That's a bad idea. Uh, Alright, uh, Archimedes is gone currently because you stepped through a portal. Okay. Um, well, before I go, I can bonus action and just dispel him real quick. Yeah, okay. There you go. Buzz, All right. so he was uh, you guys are back. in in the portal. Um, <clears throat> basically, it's on fire. Uh, you guys all kind of just fall in. Basically, uh, are you using a bonus action to uh, close the portal? Okay. <laughs> After the fourth one person gets in. Okay. Wow. You wait still cows the cow through. Cut the you wait for me. Bye, Dobby. All right. Uh, you guys are currently in the Zentarium. <laughs> oh, this isn't good. Uh, it was better than where we were. Um, how do I fit in? <laughs> you don't. How? You become my slave. No. Then you don't fit in. <laughs> um, it seems like your door was closed. Nothing. Uh, it oh. seems like all your room is neat. Um, who the fuck put you in? I got a maid. Yeah, I got a maid. I got a maid. Call her chamber maid. Uh, um, nice bitch. I'm gonna tell them to stay here for a minute. I'm gonna go see if Zane's at his office. Okay. Um. So you open the door. Um. And I'm pretty sure you just close it right yeah, now. You just go into your hallway. Yeah. Um. It doesn't seem like there's anybody there. Um. It seems like everything's quiet right now. Um. You go to Zane's office. Uh. Knock on the door. No one responds. I'm gonna see if the gnome's there. Uh. You knock again. No one responds. I'm gonna open the door. Uh, it's locked. No note on the door. Mm -hmm. right, I'm gonna go back to the room. Okay. Uh, well, the hall monitor isn't here right now. I don't know whether you guys should stay in this room or we should all go find my headmaster. I'll remember, you can make another portal to the entrance. Of the Zendarm or of the Guild Hall? Of the Guild Hall. Uh, That's what I'm saying. I remembered that. I was going to suggest it. Uh, <laughs> that, that, that would be preferable to this. Yeah. All right. I'll make a portal to the Guild Hall for them. Sure. Uh, and that's that's where we all met, right? Like the big. Yeah. yeah. That's how they get there from the Zendarm. I can't okay. believe we wasted all that time. Okay. We'll head through. I'm, I'm heading through. Are you heading through? Yep. Okay. I am going as well. Okay. Response. Are you following them? Is there a note in my room or anything? We got paid in blood. Nobody is here. It's gonna investigate. <laughs> it's gonna be like, give me a second. <laughs> um. That was in there, by the way. I'll go through the portal to the guild hall. Okay. Wow. I'm so Close the portal nice. behind me. Cool. You don't want to stay. Um, the guild hall still seems lively. Um, it's uh, where are you guys at? It was at. Seven, eight o'clock. Um, it's about uh, six o'clock here. It's about a two hour time difference. Can I get a drink? We're time travelers. <laughs> yeah. Do I see anybody from my place in the guild hall? Uh, not currently, no. Um, it just seems like everybody's uh, closing down uh, shop today and businesses and stuff like that. The guild hall like opens, there's a bunch of artisans there and everything, but there's also like the information desk. So they, all of them are closed currently. Oh, kind of shit. So should we come back tomorrow? Should we all report back to our guilds and then send out the free course of action tomorrow? 
Alright, we might have some more information. Uh, I'm gonna go back to my room. I try to like be coy with my laughter about that, but I'm not very. Uh, <laughs> before I make the portal, will we meet back here tomorrow? Yes. Yep. Yes. What time? Time. Alright. Okay. Noon. Right. Are you heading back to your guild? I don't know if I want to go back. <laughs> you need I a place to stay. You can come with us. Well, I'll go with them. Alright, cool. Okay. Oh, I had an extra bed. You could have stayed with me. What is that, a ritual bed? I'm about to sit no, on. Nobody <laughs> lives in my You're going to wake up and he's going to be over the yeah. top of so you. Like, yeah, he's going to have my arms so tied. Is it, uh, his other roommate is like his other roommate uh, is gone. He didn't make it. He oh, no, I still don't want to be there. <laughs> so I put both my beds together. I don't know. No. Alright, how about I say I was thinking I was going to share the never in. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna roam the halls to see if I find anybody. Sure. Um, it's gonna take you a while because everything. It's basically like a quiet hour right now. No one's here. It's either they're studying or teaching or something. Sorry. Cool. Right, so, cool. so um, even like in the cafeteria, kind of like that. Nobody's um, there. No one's there. Not even for food and stuff. I swear to God, it's dark. Um. Can I start making my way to the headmaster? Uh, you cannot because you do not have the ability to access. The, the floor. Um, I'll try and go to the classroom where the teacher sure. is. Um, you can go to uh, one of the classrooms and uh, I will let you know what you find. Right. Um, you guys are starting to go back to your guild uh, currently uh, with uh, your friend in tow. Yeah. I mean, are you guys are wearing your signets again? or? Yeah, we might as well take out these warm. Yeah. Yeah, okay. we'll take. Yeah, I'll take yeah. off my shirt. I'll well. also yeah. bring back. I'll Archimedes. get naked. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring back Archimedes and have him just sitting on my shoulder. Okay. Um. So you the see the phone. you see the guards. Um. You do see there was a couple like black, uh, like soot spots and rubble to your guild hall. Uh, as you're going back, um, it seems like there was fighting. Um, yep, and uh. Uh, you get met by one of the guards. Oh boy, here we go. Top of the morning to you, gentlemen. Top of the morning to you, gentlemen. Oh, it's nighttime. Are you guys coming in to stay? I see that you're with us. Uh, who's, uh, this is a new recruit? Uh, no. I am Gridal. I, I am a part of the Harper Guild. Oh, okay. Um, are you coming here on business, or? Uh, they, uh, they offered me a bed to stay. We, I am currently hungover, and I, and I need a bed. We just we just got back from a journey. Uh, we were part of the same party. Mm. A long, very long journey. I'm the, the I'm the leader. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Uh, go ahead and go in. Um, I'm pretty sure uh, any of your quartermasters can take care of that. Um, the arena is closed currently, and the clergy are uh, all in their temple. So it's kind of like he just seems very somber. Oh, this so dire though. What happened here? Why is the uh, well? Uh, a lot of the southern camp of Darkthon's forces came through, and uh, we fought them off here with uh, the elves and the dwarves alliance. And uh, a lot of people didn't make it, but uh, we were able to unite the guilds for somewhat uh, farce. I mean, the Zentarum and the. Uh, Forest Guild's name. Um, the Enclave. The, the, Enclave. the Emerald Enclave. Uh, it didn't seem to be here at all to support. So uh, it was just oh, right. the three of us. And Republicans. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, just. Uh, <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Current events, folks. Look it up. Um, <laughs> We're looking for a We couldn't find it. Oh, um, I really. I'm I'm I, I, come on. I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> and. and all right. Um, We're going to basically immediately go and try, for, try and find you. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm going to. Yeah, I'll follow him. Okay. Oh, I want to follow, follow too. Us. Can I follow? Yeah. You kind of have to. Oh, wait. Are you still in the. Uh, Who says I have to? I'll just oh, stealth okay. around. Yeah. 
I, I just left there. my religion. Yeah. I didn't leave the guild. Well, I tried. Yeah, you're you're in the guild. You just yeah. don't go to the temple anymore. Yeah. Well, currently I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I might actually take a journey over there in a second. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you're trying to go find Lou. Uh, you go to your uh, dormitories, basically. Uh, it doesn't seem like Lou's there, even in her uh, at her Jeez. room. Did she die? Is there anybody kind of standing around in the halls? Um, there's a few doors to the dormitory that are open to some of the like, recruits. So. Well, let's go after that. Peek in one of the doors, see, mm -hmm. like find someone. Yeah. You see, you see a couple of people just hanging in, in there, just kind of reading books by candlelight, um, kind of writing and doing some stuff, polishing a sword or, or two. Uh, good, good fellow members. Mm -hmm. And they kind of like, look, it's like, what do you want? Where's yeah. Lou? Uh. I haven't seen her. Uh, it's been a while. Um, I think she said she was heading, um, I think, uh, to the west, uh, down the coast, uh, to go find a cave for uh, mining. Thank you for that information. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. I mean, I'm pretty sure she's she's been gone a few days, so. Um, I'm pretty sure the dwarf and uh, the parties that she took with her are fine, but um, yeah, they just went to the coast a couple of days ago. I mean, you guys are hanging right off like the edge of the coast. She just right. went down, basically. What about, um, what about a log? Where's he at? A log. A log? Um, I do not know. Do you know where anyone Good. is in this freaking place? Yeah. Well, uh, then uh, if you find something out, I'm the last room on the left. Oh, all right. Uh, I'll see if I can find them more if you pass the phone, but I'm not too sure. So. Are the are the temples open? Uh, what just happened? They've kind of closed down services of late um, just due to the, the warring uh, outside. Is there, is there anybody that is like a higher ranking that you can talk to? We have we have some uh, very uh, pivotal information. Um, yes, I mean the quartermaster. Uh, I don't know where he's at, and he's just kind of pondering and pondering and stuff like that. Um, he said, I, "I would say look into the grand hall, um, probably even the cafeteria, to see if anybody's there." You guys we just came. Guild? We just came. Didn't we just come? From the no, you you came from oh, the entrance, the right? The guild hall. Yeah. Okay. Every every guild has like an entrance oh, hall, okay. and then they also have like their separate like hall oh, for like okay. food and registry, Fair. dormitories, stuff like that. That makes sense. Remember, it's like a pentagon. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. Well, I don't know about you, but I think it's trying to find somebody to. I feel like that holds precedence over at least where okay. I was going. Um. Too. So, since you're going to do that, um, I need, uh, you're with them, right? Yes. And you guys are searching, so you yeah. can give both of them advantage. Ah. And you'll be uh, searching for yourself. You're going to a classroom. Yeah. You'll be finding something in the classroom, but you guys are just going to try and investigate and try and find people to talk to. Ah. Investigation. With Huge. Advantage. Both of you can do it. <laughs> That's pretty good too. Uh, let's see, what's my best? Uh, twenty-one total. Okay. Natural twenty. Okay. Three total. Yeah, All right. You'll you'll find um yeah, you'll definitely find your uh basically head of the guild. Um, pretty good guy. Man. But um it'll take you a while to go. You'll be talking to people basically. Sure. Um, you enter a classroom. Um, you start uh seeing a woman basically writing stuff in chalk on a board and uh, sounding out spell words to some of the students. Um, and she kind of notices you and she kind of points to a seat for you to sit down. Um, you go and sit down. Okay. Um, so she's still pronouncing uh, these spell words and then everybody's opening up their book and scribing them. Are you doing the same? Okay. Um, she kind of walks around, comes to you and says, uh, why were you late to class? Uh, can we talk after class about it? Um, sure. Uh, 
Who's your uh, quartermaster? Lane. Ah. Yep. That's fine. Uh, yeah, we'll talk after class. Um, okay. So, as you're scribing, uh, you can actually attempt to gain something out of this yes. lesson. If yeah, you want give me, to. yeah, give me all of that. Um, <laughs> I need a I roll. Gave away all the wisdom. I need, <laughs> I need uh, three rolls. I wish I was here. For three this rolls time. of what? Uh, your first one is Arcana. Ah! Uh, and it'll be in this order. So you do Arcana first. And if you fail any of them, you will not get anything. Okay. <laughs> uh, so first yeah, one's Arcana. Made rolls. <laughs> I can't see you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. First one's Arcana. Second one is History. Uh, and then uh, third one is Performance. You will be trying, to cast, trying to cast the spell. Performance. Guardian Medios. Yeah, basically. Your performance. <laughs> All right. Performance. Performance. Mm -hmm. performance is now. Six. Hold on. Off. See what's what. Uh, did you get any pluses on your six? Uh, on Arcana, I get plus one. Oh, okay. Uh, so you do fail. Uh, uh, do you want to try and take a fate die? Yep, give me a fate on Arcana. It seems we one. need that one a lot more than. Okay, you succeed? Okay. Alright. History. 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 Four total. You succeed. Oh my god! Oh <laughs> yeah, performance. That's what you should be good at. Yeah, you got a decent uh, plus performance on that. is fourteen plus. You should have a D that's charisma. Was it five? I think it's seven for me. What? Yeah, yeah you got really mine high. is really high. Uh, your performance you can entertain is eight. So it's eight. No, 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 no. So, eighteen. Uh, uh, eighteen because 18. it's plus four. Oh. Uh, you succeed. So there you go. Uh, basically, you are repeating the words after what she was doing, mm -hmm. and then you were scribing in the book for just notation, mm -hmm. um, and then you tried to perform the spell. Mm -hmm. uh, you have a familiar spell. <laughs> I'm going to make a field over here. Oh. Um, well, I could have taught you that. Your dragon. Uh, you have uh, a choice of what your familiar looks like, and that will be a static or what you're familiar you would have. You cannot alter it in any way, shape, or form unless you learn more. I want a dragon. A baby, like... <laughs> that I want a dragon. dragon. You, can a pseudo -dragon. You, can, you can do a pseudo-dragon, but it, it's like it a wealth. A dragon. It's a wealth. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm really confused. So um, a dragon wealth basically is a dragon, but it's very, very small. Yeah. How big would it be is it for being small, I guess, is my question. Here you go. This is tight. I get a dragon finally. Which is good because I think you left your other dragon. I did it on purpose. Okay, I'm just letting you know. Yeah, I did it on purpose. There's a pseudo dragon. More minus two to strength, but dex is really high. Did you. Yeah, you did it. Okay. I think that's what I'm picking. What else could I pick from? Any animal ever? No. It has to be. Uh, it has to be something small uh, or tiny. So the dragon would work. I think is it pseudo dragon small? Yeah, it says tiny drag dragon natural good. Is it or neutral good? Natural. Now you just gotta find a time wizard and you'll be good. No, it's him. He's the time He's wizard. The time wizard. Uh, yeah, I believe it is tiny. Pseudo uh, dragons are like. I'm trying to find where it is. Does it not have like a feet? Would it be the same size as your owl or no? No, tiny Smaller. is tiny. Tiny oh, is tiny, sir. <laughs> Let me know what other kinds size. I could get. It just says uh, anything that is tiny or small. If oh, you go so like a rat. If you if you had your phone, you can go to extras on um, the app. Uh, no, in website. the website. Go to extras, manage extras, and then put in uh, choose category. You'll go familiar, and then that'll show me. Yeah. I, yeah. Well, in the find familiar spell, it says there is an optional. Um, put in. I'm trying to look it up. Is it an equipment? Pseudo dragon or find familiar? Uh, pseudo dragon. Oh, I already have it. Yeah. So the size is tiny, correct? Yeah. Where do I find? I don't know. It says tiny <laughs> dragon. It doesn't so say tiny. Because I just give it the next. Pseudo dragon. Pseudo dragon. Okay. I'm just trying to do dragon. Tiny would be like a spider or. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh, um, Extras. So, Do I see what kind of familiar the teacher has? Um, you see it as basically uh, just another like uh, a raccoon, basically. 
Uh, so oh, that's what she has. Bat, right, huh? cat, crab, frog, or toad. Hawk, lizard, octopus, owl, poison snake, fish, rat, raven, seahorse, spider, or good. weasel. That's what I have to choose from? That's what you have to choose Along from. But there are also additional choices available at the DM's discretion, which are... Do I want the I want the so I've you given you a rating on here from zero to one eighth. Mm -hmm. Is there anything tiny or small? An awakened shrub was at the burning bush. <laughs> There's also a bissel chicken. An al mirage. Ooh, sound like a great al mirage. There you go. Oh, where are you finding this? Oh, it's on a different website. Okay. There you go. You this can contribute like your website everything. Link yourself okay. off. Oh, your so wait, computer. I can choose any of these on this list? Yeah. Uh, from small or tiny. So one eighth. So medium smaller. would not work. Medium will not work. There's only one that's one eighth, and that's poisonous snake. Pseudo dragon ain't on here. That's sad. Because it's an optional one. Is it? Yeah. If you want to look at some of the things, one it's zero to one eighth that you can you can choose from. So okay. zero to one eighth. Zero oh. to one eighth. Al mirage, bat, cat, crab, crow, falcon, fish, flying monkey, fox, frog, hare, hawk, lizard, octopus, onyx, owl, poisonous snake, quipper. Rat, Raven, Seahorse, Space Hamster, Spider, Sprite, nope, not Sprite, uh, Tresson, or Weasel. Yep, it can only be in the smaller, tiny category. Alright, um, but it's time to be alive. A Tresson is a cat with wings, by the way, for those of you who don't know. Yep. It's adorable. It is. I vote Space Hamster. I will not allow that. <laughs> Do I take the flying snake? Too bad you can't have the bizzle chicken. Um, this is fun. Yeah. Give me the... The blood hog. The blood hog? Yeah. What is I'll it? add it. It's a rock curtain. Yep, add one. Yep. It's got seven hit points. Yep. There you are. As a familiar, Dex is really four. good and wisdom. So, so it's got choose? 14 plus 2 in both. Uh -huh. So the thing yeah. about familiars is that they only have one hit point. You can. Well, His how, how is a um, familiar that he conjured. He actually made a familiar. Okay, so once his dies, he doesn't get it back. He does not get it back until he uses the spell again. again um, in the certain order to get another familiar. You can upgrade this familiar if it dies. Um, How do you upgrade it? Uh, if it dies, you can try um, and do another fine familiar using the spell to encapsulate spell essence and stuff like that. You'll have to roll the same thing. So it's Arcana. So write these down with your round. Yeah. So this is the thing that you have to pass to make a new familiar. I can only have one at a time. You only have one at a time. Okay. Um, uh, and on your current level, so right now put zero where uh, on your find familiar thing on, on your paper. Oh. Put zero uh, dash one uh, over eight. Um, that is your current so nice. rating that you can get, and you can only do small, uh, tiny, or small currently. So if I upgrade this, they get so triggered. Uh, if you uh, if your uh, bloodhawk dies, you can attempt to do this again and hopefully do it better the next time. But if you learn and you have this familiar, so yeah. how well I do is how well I roll. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Yeah. And then since it's small and stuff right now, uh, we can work through this familiar being able to level up with you. All right. So. All right. Um, so now you have a bloodhawk. Um, that's with you. Yeah. Um, so you guys find uh, your headmaster. Do you remember his name? 
our quartermaster? I it was no, like not your quartermaster. The head of the guild. Did you ever tell us that? Yes, I did. I should have written it down somewhere. Uh, book check? <laughs> I mean, yeah, you can use a book check if you want to. I mean, it's empty uh, because all I got is blue. I would have wrote it down if I was a copy. Check. Wait, history. Book check. Yep. History. All right. Well, they have a book of everything. Yeah, we got books of stuff. Ten. Okay. Uh, history uh, fifteen. Uh, I'm gonna priest. I'm oh probably shit. Kibben. Kibben. Why is that? Oh, yeah, I, I I don't remember you saying that. Yet. How do you spell it? K I D I N. D I N. Um, so you can fake that to get this familiar, boy. <laughs> yeah. uh, but you have a familiar now that you can use yeah. some combat. Oh, shit, I'm stuck. <laughs> Maybe I should have picked the snake. I was hoping you were going to pick the dragon. Well, I couldn't. It went on the list. On that one, I said if you want to try and use them, I just it needs to be in a small or tiny rating. And it said it tiny. Yeah, it so was the dragon was tiny. not. Yeah. Uh, uh, the pseudo dragon was a one fourth. Oh. One fourth. So, maybe later. Yeah, maybe uh, later. Oh man. Um, oh, but you have a bloodhawk, which has awesome, cool things. Yeah. So. Bloodhawk. Yep. Very weak. Attack way. restriction. A familiar can attack, but it can take other actions as normal. Plus four to hit. Five feet will target. Yeah. So, uh, your familiar on your command, you have to spend a bonus action. I'm just letting you know. Um, all right, so uh, Kibben. you find Kibben. He's kind of at the guild headquarters. He's hunched over kind of a map of the area, um, and a couple other maps are spread about, um, just over massive zones. Uh, one is of the Northern Hold, and he's just kind of just uh, watching. And there's three other people around him. Uh, one's an elf. One's a dwarf. Uh, one's just another uh, guild member, um, and they're all kind of talking amongst themselves. Are you guys going to approach, or? We'll walk up. Well, I'll walk up. Yeah, I'll, we'll be, I'll be like a foot behind him. Okay. Are you, are you standing there patiently? Yes, I'll, 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 I'll uh, wait. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm here. Uh, I think it'd be best if you stay here in the doorway. They may not like your presence. We'll, we'll ask. I'll stay here. Okay. Stop, Stop walking. Hide behind um, the door. <laughs> um, so you guys walk up. Um, you are met by two other members, and they kind of stop you. They're like they're having a meeting. Uh, what do you need? Yeah. They they are higher rank than you. You can tell their uh, badges have uh, three markings, which is there are uh, a kind of a gold rank in here. So they are very high. What's our badges? Uh, you're an initiate. You don't even have a. You don't. You have your. You have the signet. You don't even have anything on that identifies you as like uh, copper, bronze, silver, gold, this information might lead platinum, to crystal. I know so. Let's see. Anyway, we're here to. We have important information about the Northern Hold uh, and Target Uh Who is your quartermaster? Lou, and she's not here. Uh, well, you should. Have spoken with your quartermaster. We actually, not, we we actually just got back within the last half day. Well, we, you won't allow you in without your quartermaster being with you. You are initiates, you're not even anything right now, and we are very busy preparing. This we, were, we have we have information about Dargathon. He we was were in the he was actually he was actually in the presence of Dargathon himself. He um, breathed on me, and I could smell his. Uh, roll for um, <laughs> roll for persuasion at disadvantage. Can I give him a solid roll? Yeah, yeah. straight roll. Yeah. Uh, no. And this is against his intimidation check. <laughs> you have a, do you have a good roll to give to it? Yeah, I'm gonna take my sixteen, so make it a seventeen. Okay. Uh, he grabs you. 
does this with you really like hard and he kind of like the other guard holds you that's with him and he's like find your quartermaster or you'll be thrown out and he kind of shoves you and he kind of walks back and they that's really really high and they start closing the door and uh it's like uh and he gets and he just slams it They don't seem very keen to receive any important information. No. You should add your bird shit on him. Not too late. Maybe later. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, back of my head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so like Alistair, the class bad. just got over. Um, you guys can go back to the guild hall or try and sort of. Uh, I'm. I know it's supposed to be closed, but I am going to head towards the temple. But you can start. Yeah, that's fine. Um. Uh, we're. Er, where are you following? Are you following him? Or, or follow, where are you? Uh, what are you doing, Kel? I'm going to wait outside the door until Headmaster Kevin walks out. Okay. Sure. I'll stay with him. All right. Um, so the class gets over. Um, the oh, teacher sorry. comes up to you. It's like, very good. Um, uh, where uh, Zane must have very high hopes for you. Um, I'm pretty sure you should be moving out of the uh, initiative dorm soon. Um, but, uh, have you seen your headmaster of late? Uh, not really. Well, I saw him at the Northern Pole. Okay. And, uh, what, what does he need? Uh, he told me not to come find him, but he gave me a list of things to find. Hmm. And I'll show her the, the list. The list. Okay. Um, it's like, oh, uh, this is an original for initiates. Gotcha. Um... The goblet is in the treasury of the northern hold that Dargon currently holds. Well, I'm pretty sure you could use another standard goblet. You don't need that specific one. Oh. Okay. Um, I mean, this is, seems to be a pretty simple ritual. Um, yeah, I just this need is... to find a body. Oh, we have plenty in uh, our morgue. Awesome. Where should no. I do this at? Um, well, usually it, you, you're supposed to do it in front of a teacher and perform the ritual so you can become, uh, you know, an acolyte. Um, can I do it in front of you? Uh, yeah. Um, but you'd have to renounce the claim to Zane being your teacher then and become my initiate. Uh, do you know where Zane could be? Glad, like, well, if you said he was at the Northern Hole. Well, he told me to not come look for him. He must have had a specific reason then. Well, he told me to focus on these things and find them. Then he probably just had wanted you to become an acolyte. I have no idea what he could have wanted. Maybe he couldn't uh, train you or anything since he had been this other way. You think you could take me to see the headmaster? Um, well, the headmaster's not here right now. I don't know. Is he uh, in the northern hold, too? I don't believe so. He's been off on other business. Do you know if we joined Dargathon for the war? I don't think so. I think we're standing pretty neutral. Okay. How old is this teacher? Um, I would say in early, like, uh, I'll say late uh, 20s. Oh, so she's a fairly new teacher. Are there any older teachers here? <laughs> uh, no, all, all of them are either with their uh, initiates or teaching other classes currently. Why? Just curious. Um, all right, well, at least now I can, now I can just use a body from the morgue and whatever goblet I need. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else I want to ask about? I, and, I mean, if you do want to become one of my acolytes, that's completely fine. There's many of openings. Okay, I don't know. I've been pretty loyal to Zane, but... I don't know. I didn't uh, think, well, quartermasters are teachers, too? Mm -hmm. uh, they teach their own dormitory. 
Oh, they, look, okay. they they were the ones that recruited you. Okay. To so, um, if you're ever recruited by one of your quartermasters, basically they're a teacher inside the Zentarum, but they're also recruiting for their basically them to become their acolytes. Okay. Um, so your initiative to the Zentarum, mm -hmm. but you have a choice. You don't have to be uh, an acolyte to Zane. You don't have any obligation. You can choose any teacher. It's just if they say yes, I'll watch you perform the ritual, and if you succeed in the ritual, then either A, they say yes, uh, you can become my initiative, or you can choose a different teacher. It's just, um, it's not well received when you choose a different teacher after the teacher watched you perform the ritual. Oh, uh, okay. So since nobody has watched me, I'm free game, basically. Yeah. Um... It's basically your recruit of one of the teachers of Zane, right? Okay. Yeah. I'll do it with her. Okay. Um, it will take about a day to do this. That's fine. Okay. Uh, um, are you gonna inform anybody or? Right, they're all at their own places though. Um, nobody was at the desk in the guild hall, was there? No, but you can leave uh like a, a note um for a lot of the um everybody cleans out of the guild hall around nine o'clock. I'll do that. Um, but you can leave a note attached with some. Um, something in the guild hall it usually gets locked up uh, since Zentarum and uh, the Emerald Enclave are allowed in at night they can leave notes they just can't do anything because it's always under constant watch okay so I'll do that okay you just leave a note for them basically mm -hmm. okay um, so you then try and go perform the ritual uh, she goes grabs a basin from uh, one of her uh, rooms and you will go to one of the ritual uh, sites to perform for her um, we'll get back to your roles here in a bit. Um, you still are waiting. No, nobody's coming out. No, nothing. You're hearing loud shouting, uh, matches, and everything. Kind of just over random stuff. Can't really hear because it's really stifled by the doors. Um, we'll get you going to the tunnel. Okay. So I'm. Um, I'm just trying to remember. So there, are there different temples to different gods, or is it kind of one? It's Helm. Helm, Helm is, is Helm is the, the main. Um, we're, we're just going okay. because it is basically protector of family and children, yes. yeah, yeah, like yeah. And truth and justice. It's okay, basically, so it's one temple. Yeah, to it's helm. one temple to Helm. Okay, um, that's kind of like the main one sure. there for this guild. Well, okay, that's what I'm um, thinking. Yeah. But there's a bunch of other religions. They sure. they don't just shy away. From oh no, yeah. yeah. But, I just wanted to make sure yeah. I'm going to the right place. Yeah. So I'll attempt to go to the main temple. Yeah. Uh, um, is there anyone there? To you see a couple here? of just clergy members kind of following in. Um, not really too much, but there's a bunch of uh, like citizens, more or less, uh, from the town that are coming in and at the benches and stuff like that. I'm kind uh, of praying. Sure. I'll walk up to uh, the clergymen mm -hmm. and I'll say, Welcome, uh, brothers. I am looking for uh, Mizar Adam. Uh, unfortunately, he did not make make it out of the what happened here. Um, they stormed in and they took one of our clergy members, and they he took uh, everything. They uh, killed some of our brothers here. Um, he tried to hold them off, um, but uh, he was regrettably. I'll I'll kind of close my eyes like I'm praying. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry for what happened here and that I was not here to help. I was on my own journey at the uh, time of what, this attack. What was uh, your name again? Uh, my name is Zen. Okay. And uh, I yeah. actually was coming here to uh, drop something off for the Mizar, but if he is not here, I suppose with it will be in good hands with you all as well. Well, you can go. He's, uh, and they kind of point um, down to some stairs. You can go to the catacombs. His uh, tomb is there. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll thank them, and I'll head towards okay. the catacombs. Yeah, sure. Uh, you go into the catacombs. Um, basically, there's a bunch of tombs uh, on the walls and on the rows, and there's also buried tombs. It's very, very, very aesthetic. Um, think of kind of Roman Catholic archways sure. and stuff like that, and mm -hmm. very... Very good architecture, um, even in the catacombs. Uh, hardly any 
uh, dirt or anything. Um, but you're going through everything's candlelit. Uh, they tell you where it's exactly at, and you come to the tomb. Okay. I'll, uh, so is it kind of set up kind of like a casket where you like there's a place? Yeah, there? it's a, a casket with yeah. him, uh, basically his clergy sure. a garment kind of like engraved in the tomb. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll walk up and I'll kneel in front of it. Okay. And I'll start, I'll start talking. Okay. Like, well, it looks like there was more than one that was taken. I'm sorry that I wasn't here to help defend the temple. Although, after what's happened to me on this last journey, I have no idea what help I would have actually been. Uh, I, I'm sorry to inform you that I've been what is an I kind of struggle? Yeah. That's the best way to put it. I've been... I've been relieved of Helm's watch. Mm -hmm. I was... At least at first, I thought it was, a, it was... I was being forsaken by Helm herself. However, looking back on it, I do question if maybe this was my true path, the, the path that Helm had actually laid down for me, because since I have been separated from her watch, I've become more of myself than I ever was in the past. And I've learned to accept myself separate from any uh, single deity. So as a gift, I suppose, to Helm, but more for you, that she watches over you in the next life. I offer you this, and I take, uh, it was, I actually have two holy symbols. I'll take one of them, mm -hmm. which was the one that I created and was given to me mm -hmm. back in Baldur's Gate in the original temple mm -hmm. that I was from, and I'll take that out, and I'll kind of rest that okay. by his uh, casket. Okay. And I'll say, Thanks. as I'm getting ready to go, uh, you know, this helped me for a large portion of my life. It helped me get to the point that I had grown past it. Now I hope that it will help guide you on your next journey. All right. Um, I'll say like another silent prayer. Yeah. Uh, as you lay it on the casket, um, I need you to roll a perception check. It moved. <laughs> He's not Master. Dead. Master. Master. No. Um, for a 24. The casket seems to appear to be a, uh, a crack seems to be opened like in the casket. Like it seems to be huh. moved a little bit. Do you, are you going to attempt to move it? Uh, sure. I'll attempt to look in. Sure. I'll attempt to move it. Um, as you kind of slide it even more letting light in, it seems to be empty. I'll kind of la like just kind of like laugh under my breath, just be like, I have no idea whose will this is, if this is another test or what it is, but uh, I believe wherever you are that my words have reached you, whether you are of this of this world or of the next. What is your active perception? Fourteen. Okay. You feel or no? Like my active perception. Yes. Yeah. I have my. Pa is fourteen. that the passive? Yeah. Fourteen. Yeah. Okay. You feel a cold dagger slip into your side. What? Okay. Uh, you take six points of damage. <laughs> you got fight. Uh, roll for initiative, Mike. Okay. What the fuck do you got to fight? Uh, 13. All right. Uh, you'll be going next. Uh, you quickly turn around and see it's uh, kind of one of the clergymen. Uh, and he just stabbed you, basically, with a, a dagger. Why? I'll look. Do I rec Is it one of the clergymen? Yeah, uh, you just talked to. I look up kind of in surprise. Uh, like, what's what's going on? Are you using that as your action? You were in a oh, fight. Yeah, okay. No. Okay. I was <laughs> like... 
Okay, is it, uh, I guess, just part of my perception? Do I reckon, do I notice anyone else? Is it no, it's just one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and he's he's obviously within stabbing range? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Uh, kind of with, uh, like, with, like, one tear in my eye, I'll just, I'll kind of look at him. And um, I'm, not, I'm not holding back. I'm going right. to use my... Uh, as I call it, my wind fist. Sure. <laughs> I'm gonna power up. Oh, you're gonna use that? You're gonna fist him with the wind. Are you are you are you gonna make more noise? Oh, yeah, I guess that's a good point. Uh, Why did they stab him? Well, it's pretty clear, it's some kind of conspiracy. Uh okay, no. Instead, I'll I'll just take out my sword. And cut his mouth. You can just punch the fuck out of him, yeah. I probably could. Or a monk. I know I could punch him, but I get I can do more damage with my sword. Okay. Right? No, yeah, you're right. I probably shouldn't kill him. I could like I probably should make him stand trial or something. I know you're right, but he stabbed. You're you're kinder than I am. Uh, well, currently, what are you guys doing? You can keep going. We're still yeah, here. I'm waiting. Oh, I'm, I'm kind of like while I'm waiting, I'm gonna look through the book see if I can't okay. get any more. Spells okay, out yeah. Of it. No, I, I have an idea what I'm gonna do. Kill him. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna first, I'm gonna unarm strike him. Sure. As my action to start off with. Sure. So, plus five, I believe, I'm just gonna check my unarm strike, because I'm not using my sword, which I could use. So anyway, since strike. you did not have it equipped, like, you'd have to uncheat it, that would be a bonus action. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm not using my sword. This, I'm just checking, because normally, like, my unarm strike with the sword is 1d6 plus two. Yeah. So I'm just checking to make sure what yeah. it is, if I hit more yeah. Oh, that's goodness. that's my sword, though. Because I can use my sword as an unarmed strike. Yes. So, without my sword, I think it's just four, like, straight damage. It's whatever your strength It's whatever your strength is. is. It's whatever my strength modifier is. Uh, it will tell it's you. Like, it's like something no, plus two. That's wrong. It's strength it's modifier plus what? Uh, so, plus your, your, yeah, your unarmed strike is 1d6 plus two. So, that's whether I use a martial weapon or not. Uh... It's just a martial arts attack. Okay, so yeah, that'll. It's okay, I'm just wanted to make sure. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll the hit now. Yeah, so I might not even hit it. One it's plus two. your strength modifier. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that, that twenty three. Okay. Yeah, it hits. Uh, so roll damage. One d six plus two. Huh. Eight. Okay. Um, he seems bloodied. Uh, stunning strike. Okay. So. Okay. Oh, level five, baby. Let me just check uh, what you have to roll. So basically, you have to make a Constitution save of 15, or else you're stunned. Yeah, okay. I just did. You did. You hit. I have to hit. Oh, you're then using. I, oh. Yeah, I use a key point after I hit for stun yeah. strike. Yeah. Uh, what is it that you see? 15. I do. Okay. Uh, Damn. I'm going to it's attack again because sure. I get two attacks as sure. a monk per action. Natural 20. Uh, <laughs> all right. Do I one, salute you. One d6. Double the die. No, so I just I just roll a die, double it, then add the modifier, right? Okay. So dumb. What do I do? Do I actually roll two dice or do I No, no, it's double the one it's die. It's double the one die. But that's what your offhand. Yeah. It doesn't it's the same thing. No, this is no, this isn't my offhand. I get two actions. Yeah, he, per he attack. I get two attacks per action. Yeah. As a monk. Yep. Okay. No, I, I get to attack a bunch if I want. Uh, uh so I I rolled terribly, so it was only four points of damage. So four points total? Yes, because there was a one doubled. Oh, okay. <laughs> one damage doubled. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, he looks very, very bloodied. Uh, Are you gonna bonus action to spend uh, to? Yeah, I'm, pro I'm probably gonna end up. Well, the thing is, I can actually bonus action since I attacked. I can. Well, I I could do flurry of blows, but as a bonus action, I can just attack him again with an unarmed strike because I attacked on my action. Okay. So that's probably what I'm doing. I'm not even going to flurry of blows him. I think I can get him here if I can just hit him. <laughs> 24. Yep. Uh, so just Doesn't normal. Dice, but you know the part. Okay. Hmm. Uh, four points of damage. Yep. Uh, he's on the ground and he is dead. He's dead. <laughs> you beat him to death. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess. Search uh, him. 
Yeah, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search him for like any information. Um, any as kind. you as he gets knocked onto the floor, he um he starts changing his features. Ooh. Um, and uh, it seemed to be kind of almost like a uh, like his whole skin became something different, and he changes into uh, a weird uh, creature uh, with dark skin with very pointy ears. It looks like a dark elf. Dark elf. Uh, yeah, so I'll grab, so I'll still look over his body. Did yeah. you find anything? Um, you find, like, uh, basically just, it looks like just clergyman robes, uh, a dagger, uh, no note, no nothing, um, just seems to be, uh, just a dark elf and not, uh, what you saw as a clergyman. Let's see, what I would do and what my character would do, two very different things right now, uh, I am, There's an open body on the floor. No, 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 I know. I'm trying to think what I want to do exactly with yeah. the open body. Uh, yeah, let's go with what the character would do. So I'll, I'll pick up the body. Do I still have the dagger, like, in my... No, he, like, stabbed you. Stabbed Basically, up. just... Okay. So I'll kind of... I'll take the body with me back up through the catacombs. Oh, God. Okay. All right. I don't think this is... A good idea. I I I will. I'm doing what my character would do. Okay. So you're not wrong. That's you're, what my because yeah. my character wouldn't believe that all the other clergymen were bad. He okay. would just assume it would be one. All right. Um. So sorry. I told you what I would do. Uh, yeah. My character. I know. Would do. I know. Very different. Nope. You're correct. I will graciously accept this. Uh, you go up to the the clergy floor. Um, coming out of the catacombs. Uh, you, what are you doing? There's bodies, and there's a, a woman that kind of turns around in the bench, and she just, <gasps> and she kind of starts like, screaming. I'll say, yeah. help us, an imposter. I was stabbed in the catacombs. <laughs> uh, they recognize I'm, I'm in danger. Well, are, are you throwing the body on the floor, or are you just like? No, I'm, I'm just still holding on to it. Okay, like, 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 how, it, how is no, it? No, no, like, no, no, no. Like, like, I'm, like, it, like he was alive, but like wounded, so like I've got his arm over my shoulder. So we can defer him. Kind of, well, no, I'm like, yeah, I'm like dragging him like, like this. That beaten and bruised and bloodied to death. <laughs> Red is sus. Well, but I'm bleeding too. Um, all right. Uh, well, I'll just say, like, help, you know. Persuasion can... check at disadvantage. Oh, nice try. Not going to go well. <laughs> do I do, do that nullify? again? Do I nullify it? With... Do that, do that no. again. That's still pretty good. 17 total. Okay. Um, a bunch of the clergymen come around and they see he's dead and they try and lay him on the floor and they see that you're wounded. And, and I like, tell him, I say, he he snuck up on me in this catacomb and he stabbed me. And uh, a couple clergymen call for guards and you just see a couple of the guards. And I'll talk to them as they're calling out. Do you recognize this, this face? His face changed right in front of me. None of them do. And they the guards head down to the catacombs. And when the guards get there, I'll literally, when they come up, I'll, I'm going to tell them before they even get there, I'm going to say, we've been infiltrated. Okay. Uh, they, they will say, okay, uh, just make note of this and stay here or go seek, uh, uh, medical attention for that wound. Um, and then they go down to the catacombs. Uh, the clergymen are just kind of in shock and they're trying to calm down everybody in the, you know, uh, the benches and bleachers and stuff like that, and just kind of calm them down. And, um, the children are kind of being sheltered by uh, their mothers and their family. I try to kind of do my best. Like everything will be fine. It has been taken care of. Yeah. Um, but yeah, are you just staying there then? Uh, I think I actually am going to stay there because okay. I feel like I need to be there okay. and talk with people. Uh, by back. word of mouth, it reaches to you guys that there's a commotion in the temple. What's a ruckus? There, well, you know that, I went there, though. There, there's a... Something happened in the temple. You don't know what. It seems like somebody's been either uh, killed or murdered. <sighs> oh. I'm going. Are you guys heading there? Boat. Yep. Okay. And I'll run for the thing. Okay. I run, too. Um, so, <laughs> Alright. Um... So, I mean, you're not hearing any of this no. at all. Um, so, as you're going to go through rituals, you're going to have to give me five checks before the end of the night is. Jesus. Uh, five of them 
are going to be all at disadvantage. Because <laughs> you do not have to know how to perform this correctly yet. Uh, it is Arcana three times to make sure your spells are right. Uh, medicine and performance. You get to choose in what order they go. But they're all at disadvantage. What is this card? I don't think the order, does the order matter? You have five ones. <laughs> all at disadvantage. It is three arcana, one medicine, and one performance. I know I want the performance. <laughs> Do I want it to be first? Me. I, I was right there with you. <laughs> I will let you sit and think about this. I do performance, then medicine, then arcana. I'll let you think about this first. I don't know what the difference is. <laughs> you have three arcanas, one medicine, and So one I can performance. stagger them? You can choose how you're casting them, or trying to roll for them. But they're all at disadvantage. Do arcana, performance, Yeah, just, arcana. just, just, roll just. Ten just, twenties in a row. Just, roll it now. just yeah. think about it. Roll it. Um, you can also ask her for help. I'm going to have you think about this quickly yeah. for a second. You also have the book. <laughs> I'm gonna read. Oh. I'm gonna <laughs> there you go. I will He's open the it. book up and read about how to do this okay. ritual. History check at advantage. At advantage. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can let me know when you get it. And it's that twenty. There you go. All right. Cool. Uh, I'll let you know what the order will be in a second. Uh, so you guys get to the temple. You see uh, Zen kind of hanging out. He is being stabbed. Um, just talking to the clergyman, and there's more guards going to the catacombs. Then what happened here? I came to the temple to see the head priest, and uh, I talked with some clergymen. They said he was dead and buried in the catacombs. You're also there, too. Uh, when I went down there, he, uh, the, catac the his actual casket began to glow. I looked inside, and he wasn't there. It wasn't then, glowing. It was just open. Was it just open? I thought you said it was glowing. Nope, it was uh, cracked okay, open. So yeah. it was cracked open, and I was curious, so I took a peek, and there was no body in the catacomb, and then I was stabbed by this man that had lain here on the ground. Believe you. Help, I've fallen and I can't get up. So you're saying this man stabbed you? Yes. I was he always a dark elf? He was not. He turned into a dark elf after the incident. Yeah, that man you can. Well, I, I believe we've been infiltrated by somebody. <laughs> I'm just going to do a quick scan of the room mm -hmm. and see if I can see anybody that's like acting out of out of normal, how they should be. Sure. Um, insight. Thirteen. Uh, you don't see anybody that looks suspicious anyway. Everything, everybody's kind of calming down. The family's kind of ushering them out of the temple. So are the other clergymen still around? Or yeah. That's way? So I'll, I'll say to them, it's like, did you know that uh, Adam's body was not in the casket? No. We never, uh, we placed them there. A couple of us have. Well, his, his body is no longer there. And once I came privy to that fact, I was stabbed. Yeah. By um, his body. I, we did not know. I, I have to say, I, I do not wish to cast aspersions on anyone, but were you? do you know this clergyman? Mm -hmm. no, like, there's about five of them, like, kind of talking and trying to talk about the body and, like, talking with the guard. So there's, like, five of them around. Yeah. There's, like, one that you're kind of talking to, and yeah. he had no idea about this. Well, then we have a major, a major, major problem here. All the more reason that we need to talk to Headmaster Kinnon. After this incident, I would say I, I agree. If, if this Dark Elf was able to infiltrate not only our guild, but your clergy, then I fear no one here is not only, no one here is not only not safe, but can't trust we can't trust anyone either. Mm -hmm. And our guild, from what I understand, is built on trust and help. We are supposed to guard the people. How can they trust us if we can't trust ourselves? Well, you also initiated, like, are, are we sure we can trust you? You were the one that found the body. Maybe you're lying to us and you're trying to pin it on somebody. You do bring up a fair point, but my question is, do you not recognize this dark elf. You have spoken to me before. You just saw me two 
minutes ago before I went down into the catacombs. Have you ever seen this man before? I, I have never seen that man before. So, I guess my question is, would you trust someone you've never seen before over someone you just spoke to two minutes ago? Oh. And I have given you information of the body being... Of well, we need to find uh, one of the other Scroogemen. Uh, do you remember anything of his name or, or such? Or what he looked like before? Uh, I did do a perception. You never told me. Okay. What did he look like? Uh, his perception check, uh, when you uh, saw him. he was like an old man, okay. uh, about 40 to 50 years old, white hair. Basically like any clergyman. Okay, um, so had, did I recognize him like I had ever seen him before? Yeah, he, he was one of the clergymen that you've met. That I spoke to. That you spoke to. I'd say he was he was one of the men that I spoke to who who led me down to the catacombs. He was older with a white beard and was bald. Uh, well, I just spoke to him two minutes ago. Okay. Or a few minutes ago. Um, we will go see if uh, he is here, um, unless he was just the imposter. And so he, the clergyman, said, just wait here with the guards and everything. And I'll say, uh, I'll apologize, and I'm sorry for my my kind of irritating nature. I'm just very... No, you're... I'm very flustered, not are. only over the, the attack, but over the uh, where the high priest's body may be. Oh, no, no worries. Uh, you are fine. Um, uh, are these both These here? are my uh, companions. This is Cal. He's also an initiate. And this is Gradel, who ah. I had just... Uh, we have just returned from a mission to the uh, Northern Hold. I have never once backstabbed Zen. That is an accurate uh, statement. That I is, can that confirm is, that, but... Uh, that is good. Yes, uh, he uh, is staying with us. Uh, all right. Um, well, I would say I'll report to your headmaster, too, if you, um, if you would be, because maybe they also integrated your guild as well. Um, so the clergyman just walks off. Okay. Up. Um, and so you guys are just amongst yourselves talking. I just like take a deep breath and I turn to Cass like that's the most I've ever talked, I've ever spoken in my life. I'm very proud of you. I feel exhausted. <laughs> so exhausting. How do you talk so much all the time? Um, what do you do? The spell rolls are going to be Arcana, History, Arcana, Medicine. Oh, sorry, Arcana, uh, Medicine, Arcana, Arcana performance. Roll. Arcana, medicine, Arcana, Arcana, Arcana. Yeah. All at disadvantage. Why are you disadvantage even after looking in the book and rolling a 20? You you know what they are, but it's your first time performing this. This is how you become. You know, Alright, so it's point. Arcana. Performance. Medicine. Med. Arcana, Arcana. Arcana, Arcana performance. performance. In Kansas. Yeah. Alright, right. Uh, just write the rolls down yeah. on the paper. Um, so the guards kind of come up from the catacombs and they're, and they're like, well, there's no body. We just saw the trail of blood. There's nothing down there um, specifically that we can find. Uh, we'll just keep this temple under investigation currently. Um, you seem like a very reasonable fellow. Hmm. We need to speak with Headmaster Kiven right away. Uh, well, after this event, I'm heading there now. Good, good. May we accompany you? Uh... Yes, um, I'm. I'm also gonna accompany them. Even I'm still bleeding, but I'm gonna. Okay. Kel, go get, get you some heal. God, do you have him fixed here? I'll fix it. Okay. So and I'll just healing hands him for six. Okay. Okay. That's yeah, that gets me back. Yep, that's fine. Um, and so you guys go make your way to Kevin, kind of in a hurry. So, what were the rolls? Total. <laughs> Nine. Nine. Okay. Nine was the first roll. 18, 19, 4, 19. <laughs> what? You four. got three. You have one fail. Fourth then. failed. And then you got the fifth. So the fourth one failed. So you didn't complete the ritual. So one, two, three, four. This one failed. The three. Can I fade die that? Sure. I'll let you do that. Sure, second one. Okay. Um, what was your total? Four? Yeah. Okay, you do succeed. By one. <laughs> <laughs> Take it! That's actually what I probably would have done. Um, 
So you I'm complete. A natural. So basically, how the ritual went, I will let you know how the Zentarum rituals go. Um, you conjure uh, magic, basically in the air. Uh, then you prep the body to begin to absorb the magic, um, and then you cast uh, basic basic spells onto him, and the magic starts flowing into the body. Um, you have kind of removed most of um, like the heart and everything, and you placed it like all around the altar. So you kind of just open the body, did everything, and all the magic's kind of flowing through everything. Uh, the second uh, Arcana check. Uh, was the magic kind of binding to the parts and then as you perform the last bit of the spell the heart starts to beat and uh, basically after that you've created a basic corpse uh, kind of um, thrall almost like a zombie but um, it's basically you just animated a, a body cool yep moose like moose like Master fly. Uh, it is not yours Oh. It, it is part of the guild. So, <laughs> so I don't get to keep him. No. A slave on loan. It's a slave on loan. You would have had him in a three piece suit. You <laughs> you created a thrall for the guild. Um, cool. uh, it didn't seem to be the best work, but it did pass. Um, so after that, um, you are now an acolyte. Uh, uh, the teacher gives you um, a token that you put on your uh, pendant, yeah. basically. Uh, and it signifies that you're now an acolyte. And actually, it's purple. Um, this kind of purple, almost uh, ribbon-like thing uh, on your pendant. Um, that, like, I would say a tassel more. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you get so many before. Hers has three. Hers is a purple tassel, a yellow tassel, and a blue tassel. You have a purple tassel, that means you are now an acolyte. Um, and uh, you have a white tassel running through the purple that signifies that you are her uh, acolyte. What's her name? Um, it seems like you should have known that. <laughs> Uh, Debbie. That's well, like you, you've heard, been on this date. I would have heard it in the class, though. Yeah. Like, I would have heard her name in the class. It's true. Be fair. Unless, unless, or her, I think her name would have been on the door <laughs> or on the syllabus. Oh, we've had so much fun. I'll just, I'll yeah, we'll just go with Colette. What's your name? She doesn't start with a C. Okay. Colette? Mm -hmm. oh, I was hoping for Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how to spell Colette. A halfling Debbie. C O L E T T E. Yep. All right, cool. E. Yeah, I yep. put the idea in. I yep. probably didn't say it. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's written down. Yep. Um, she hasn't got uh, the Z to her name yet because a lot of them, uh, if you are higher in the guild, you get the Z regardless. You will become getting your Z, and she's getting her. And I'll be Zalister. I'll be Zalazar Slytherin. <laughs> there you go. Um, or you can just change your name completely. No, I think well, that dude, was, if I was, was in pretty a, cool. If I was in a, I got a Z, I'd be, oh, sorry, Zen already. But. Yeah. So, um, I'd be Zordon. <laughs> all right. Maybe I'm already. Uh, so so you, com you completed the ritual. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So uh, you completed the ritual. Now uh, you can go to her dormitory. Your dormitory is still open the same, but you can remove all your... Stuff to go to hers. I don't know. I like our little gnome guy. I don't know if they have one there either. His name. Do you remember his name? Yeah, it's written down, but I don't feel like looking. Let's <laughs> <laughs> be honest. Yeah. Fair. Um. So, are you going to? Um. Oh, that took you a whole day. Sorry. So yeah. you are basically out of this whole conversation for a bit. Uh, sorry, but you got to have uh, familiar and you got a uh, cool initiate. So you are now an acolyte. You're now I'm a gangster now. Yeah. Why does he have all the cool shit? Why could I do that? Because uh, I chose you, what I like. You haven't went back to your guild. That I like. Well, you haven't gone back to There's the nothing joke. there for me. There's a drunkard and that's it. No, he's sleepy. He's not. All right. Um, he's I'm drunk saying, and sleepy. I don't really have nothing in the room, do I? Mm, you just have your spell books. You have your... I'll grab that stuff. Yeah, I mean, your notes and stuff. I mean, it's mostly area. just everything, yeah. Okay, so you have a new room basically open to you, but you can always come back to Zane if you need it. Alright, cool. 
Yep. Um, yep. So now we're going back to you guys. Um, so you guys make it to the door. The guard kind of just opens the door regardless. Um, he is a silver. He is not a gold. But he goes to the door. They let him pass. They hold you guys up again. He's like, no, no, no. They're with me. We were just at the temple. Um. Oh, okay. I thought I heard something. <laughs> okay, Merfolk. Oh. Um. But uh, you basically go uh, go up and um, Kibben is there. He's like, what? What's the matter now? We're in important business right now. Ah. Uh. I'm, we're sorry to uh, disturb you. It seems like we have been infiltrated somehow. How can I trust you? Uh, who is this? It's our slave. God, no. This is, Tell him. This is our friend. Tell him it's your he slave. He journeyed with us from far. He, took, we were, he went with us to the Northern Hold, where we have the vital information on our spot. They oh. took my job. Uh, and he looks at your... And then, uh, are you from the Harper's Guild? Yes. <laughs> uh, Quit annoying I, me with these questions. I'm. I've been introduced three times already. Damn it! I'm sorry to inform you that your guild is no more. Oh no! <laughs> oh jeez! I have no home to go to. Ah! Uh, what happened to the Harpers? Oh man! I guess they just hop right along. Uh no, they were. Uh, Decimated. They were <laughs> decimated. They were destroyed uh, during the sieging. Is there they any, tried to hold them off. Is there anything left of the kill hall? Uh, no. It's in shambles. Oh. Fuck. Shambles! Well, I guess I should go back in there and say my, uh... Ain't shit my there. Goodbyes. You don't know that. There could be shit in the rubble. I don't know anything. I just did a ritual kill. all day. <laughs> uh, How high is a kite off your ritual? <laughs> <sighs> um, are you, are you tempted to leave? Do you want to leave, or uh, are you want to stay? We're not gonna stop you if you want to go over there. Well, let's, let's finish the storyline. Let's go. Okay. Let's get to my guild. Okay. Gonna take okay. about a day to get there. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, so you head off to go to your guild, and I'll start talking to you. Yeah. I'll get to you, and yours will be the last thing we get to. Okay. Um. So, basically, uh, he. Tells him that he starts walking off. What what happened at the temple? Well, I wanted to go and see. Uh, since we've been off for so long, I wanted to go see. Off the, where? At the uh, northern hold. The impossible. What? We've been uh, hearing this a lot lately. Yes. Why we does it seem impossible? Why does it seem impossible? Because we know Darathon took the hold. Yes. We were planning to infiltrate it, hopefully soon, but. Well. Uh, we, uh, you may say we snuck in. Well, we yeah. failed. I mean, you know, we had nothing there. I just <laughs> argued. We, uh, we were in there uh, as a part of our mission. Uh, we uh, had to leave rather hastily, and that is why we are back here. It's, it was impossible for you to get there in the first place. There's no way you could have been there. Uh, just uh, let these nuisances out. We uh, met uh, we met someone by the name of Stoffy. I don't know if you've heard of that name. And he perks up and he's like, "No, we've never heard of Stoffy." What? <laughs> Does he seem like there's something off about him? Yeah. Um, no. You can check. You can try and, and do an insight. Check. I will, I will attempt. Wait, 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 wait. What's your insight? Not great. Mine's I'm attempting. Do you want me to give you advantage? No. Or do you want me to do it? Just let him give him advantage. Both of you do it. Both, both of us do it. Uh, he seems sincere, and he's kind of getting very irritated. What kind of bullshit is that? Well, <laughs> otherwise, Man, I, come join the Harpers. We want our own guild. Otherwise, I I went to the temple uh, to see High Priest uh, Adam. I was not aware that he had perished. Uh, the The priest that I met with told me to go see his body in the catacombs. Mm -hmm. When I went down there, his body was gone, and then I was stabbed. And I'll take out the dagger I took by this dagger by a man who looked like a human with white with a white beard older and after he was uh, disposed of he his body morphed into a dark elf 
And he kind of looks around, and he looks at uh, the elf that's there. Um, you can tell that he's a high elf. Um, very golden skin, and the dwarf uh, is obviously, they're both looking at each other. And, um, and they're just kind of like whispering, and then it's like, all right, uh, we'll figure this out, but they're do not disturb us during this business that we're on. We'll we'll check it out. And he's kind of just very frustrated. Like he's um, he's not paying you too much mind, but he believes you. It's just uh, he is very very um, overwhelmed. I guess. Overwhelmed. Yeah. Yes, um, because that story. No one could get to the Northern Hold because it's been blockaded, and you can see where the the armies were yeah, outside. The thing we can do. To we got in because we were with a member of the Zentaro. Who has sided with Dargathon? Who's sided with Dargathon? The Zentara? That's impossible. They would never side with Dargathon. Are you sure? We're positive. They're one of the guilds that hold this country together. Well, it would be a shame if you were wrong. Uh. You see, kind of out of the darkness, like, oh no, uh, we're sure we're not wrong. Uh, it is the Zentarm's headmaster. Mm. Oh, we. Well, oh, there. Oh, and I and I and I will actually chime up here and say, oh, so a member of the Zentarm, the headmaster of the Zentarm, is here. Uh, I actually was. I'm sorry to bore you with this, but when we were in the Northern Hold, I actually felt ill. And I was healed by someone. I'm wondering if you are aware yes, of who they are. Yes, Stoffy. Ah, she hasn't been part of the Zentarum in ages. Yes, that I, well, I know that. Interesting. Uh, she actually was the one that healed me. Uh, she seems to have also aligned herself with Dargathon. Stoffy doesn't align herself with anybody. I would know. Interesting. Uh, How would you? You can see in the features of this person. You don't even know what they look like. No, I don't know what he looks um, like. I've never met him. Uh, you can see, and you him. said there was a dark elf <coughs> that uh, entered and infiltrated your clergyman. Yeah. Uh, he kind of takes off his hood, and you can see he is a dark elf. <laughs> uh, with red eyes. Um, Why are his eyes red? Um, well, I'll have to find out later. Um, <laughs> He, he has very, very features. He does have a few um, earrings and pieces all, all over his uh, face. Um, he also has a band across his head. And he's like, hmm, so yeah, Safi uh, doesn't align herself with anybody. She's probably using him for something. Um, so we're not but too you, worried about her. But can you confirm then that we were in the Northern Hold if we were able to reach Safi? Well, Stoffy could be anywhere. We don't know if she's in the Northern Hold with anyone. We haven't seen her in years. And like I said... <laughs> Who are you with at the Northern Hold? We're trying not to give you a up in case he, like, punishes you for something. Well, then your story ain't what, fall through. What is your name, good headmaster? Uh, what is the headmaster's name? Starts with a Z. <laughs> it does. Zar. Zarbal. Zarbal. Where is it? Zentar. 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 Okay. Yeah. And it's a woman. Mm-hmm. Damn, she's strong. Hmm. Oh, also, uh, the elf that does have white hair, by the way. Sorry, she has okay. long white hair. It doesn't matter. All the details matter. All the details yeah, matter. Yeah, they do. Um, and precisely uh, who um, and how would uh, you be even here if you were at the Northern Hold? It takes a very long journey to get here. Fortunately, there are mystical ways to travel quickly to other places. Mm. I see. One of you is magically inclined, just not well eyes. Mm. That's a fair point. <laughs> I do what I can. Well, I'm tired of listening to these initiates that are not even anything. Can we continue our conversation, please? 
McKibben. And he kind of like, yes, yes, I'm sorry. And he is like, just uh, take him, take him away. Go back to your dormitories or find your quartermaster. Is he gone? I think it's a good idea yeah. for us to leave. Yeah, we'll turn around and leave. <laughs> you know why I'm doing this, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. So they left? Yeah. Yeah, uh, as we as we walk out that that guard that gave us trouble. Mm -hmm. I just want to look at him. What is your name? <laughs> I don't have to give it to an initiate that's going to get kicked out to in the morning. <laughs> I would really like to know your name. He, he won't give it to you. If you want to try and persuade me, you can. I am going to cast suggestions. All right. <laughs> Was it 14? 14. All right. Gah! Suck it, 19. Ah! Uh, <laughs> so now they're gone. You two are out of the office. Yep. Yeah. Why did y'all ask where Lou was? Bye. We already know where Lou We already know where Lou was. Where is she at? She's down the mines. By the mines. Why the fuck do we go on Were you there? not listening to our, our story? All right. No. So, uh, <laughs> how do you go? No. Uh, great. I was I, you, you go to the Harper's Guild. It is... It is terribly in shambles and a wreck. It, it's uh, obliterated. It is. It's, it's not obliterated. Have, There's still a house <laughs> and stuff. Yeah, like, um, um, uh, you do see that um, it's still up. You can go in and enter, but it just seems to be burnt uh, down. There's stuff. All right. Um, you see, like the room where your basically head headmaster was. It's um, gone. And, damn. Um, the area where you eat is also kind of in shambles, but it has just tables and stuff that are burnt. Uh, do you try and go up to? All right. Uh, do you try and go to your room? Yeah. Okay. It is not there. Um, your room is there. There's everything's uh, in a bu uh, burning, uh, was burnt or is in ash. So, um, but there seems to be uh, a box um, on the floor that's like a metal box. Right. Um, it's locked. Wow. Uh, can I uh, unlock it? Yeah, you can try to pick the lock. Sure. I will try to pick the lock. Alright. Um, you slide the panel. Splice six panel. Yeah, let's go. Ha! Nice try. I don't know if I can get in trouble. Okay. Um, so you, you basically, okay. uh, pick the lock, you open it. Um, it's full of gold. <laughs> <laughs> Take it all. Take it all. Right. Uh, do you take time to count it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it was basically um, a million. A million pieces of gold. It took no. two days. To uh, count. it's fifteen hundred uh, gold pieces. It's rich. The rich man. Rich. Rich. Uh, the warehouses, boys. Uh, take it, us to the brothels. It, it, it wasn't yours, but it was. It uh, was all just stashed there. It yours, was a stash. It's yours cool. now. It's yours now. <laughs> Fuck yeah, we're taking that. Sure. Okay. Yep. So you have fifteen hundred gold pieces. I only had twenty to pay. Wow. Okay. We're going to Vegas. <laughs> we're going to Vegas. All right. Um. That's where I'm gonna.